This episode is brought to you by Harry's Razors. Shing! For shing. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. James, James, let me in. Come quickly. I, I'll, I'm opening the, the door or hatch. Oh, thank God you've opened the door to your house. Yes. Quickly, turn on the news. Look, look. Okay, click. It's weird that my remote makes that noise. Yeah, I Sounds know, like right? a human man I saying had, click. I thought you had a new, you had a new TV still. <laughs> People of Earth, I am Galactron, the chomper of worlds. I sit in judgment of all life in the universe. What is this? I have seen your art, your culture, your science, and I have found it wanting. In one of your Earth hours, I shall chomp your world. <sighs> it's kind of my thing. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. Make peace <laughs> with your creator. It's pretty weird, right? That's really weird. How did you know that was on? It's on every channel, man. Is it on loop? Because it started exactly when I turned it on. Look, it's a bit vague. I think maybe there was a loop. <laughs> okay. Maybe that was a recording of the... Maybe the news recorded it. I don't know. Okay, fair enough. Maybe... Did you TiVo it? I didn't... Te- I don't have TiVo. Huh. Yeah. I mean, it's convenient. It's weird how that always happens, isn't it? When you turn the... When you, you turn the bloody... You turn the TV on and it's just... And it's so crisp through the audio. Yeah, like, right. I can't imagine anybody listening to this could hear that very well. It's probably his cosmic powers. It might just be Mate, that. He's got yeah. cosmic powers. Yeah. Maybe it went directly in our brains. It's very possible. I should have said just tune in with your brain, you know. <laughs> yeah. But J- James. Yes. Galactron's here. He's going to destroy the bloody world, It seems mate. that way. And he doesn't... Look, I've got an idea. Okay. Should we? You used all the Patreon money to buy that helicopter, right? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> all right, let's get going. <laughs> We're here, the highest mountain in the world. It's pretty quick. Pretty quick, right? Good thing we've got this recording equipment. I know, right? (laughs) There he is. Galactron, hear us. It's James and Meso from Earth. Hello. Puny humans. What can you possibly show me to prevent the destruction of your world? That's right here in this bag. It's this year's best (laughs) of the weekly planet. So we're doing that now? Yeah, that's right. We'll be back at the end. Yeah. If we're all here, who knows? Because of Galactron. Because of Galactron. Yeah. Red hot comic book movie news. Shooting up your butthole. The Weekly Planet. The Weekly Planet. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday. With me, as always, is my co host, Nick Mason. It's great to be here on this award-winning podcast. Why do you say so, Mason? We won an award. We won the poddies. They can never take it away from us. We won the most popular Australian podcast. And we won it because people who listen to the podcast yes. voted for us. Which is crazy. But anyway, it. in celebration of winning the, 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 <laughs> the award, uh, we've decided this is our new award-winning tradition. Yes. Anytime we win an award, so hopefully never again, <laughs> we're going to celebrate with a hot, piping hot glass of Bovril, <laughs> yes. which we spoke about at length last week. It's some sort of yeast and meat-based paste that you put into hot water and you drink it. Yep, that's right. All right, let's 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 take a break. Let's take, fire it up. Ugh. The Bovril boys are taking a break. <laughs> the Bovy boys. <laughs> okay. okay, you got it here. We're ready. James, yeah. you're in the Bovril place now. <laughs> Whoa! I don't know if I like it. All right. Is this the most self-indulgent thing we've done? No, this is. It's the time. It's I not order. like eating a piece of chocolate cake. It's it's let's let's have a drink that we'll probably hate. It's it's the like the time I others. ordered. Wa- it's not as bad as the time I ordered waffles, is it? No. Okay. It's not as bad as that. <laughs> but I mean, collectively, it's the worst thing we've done. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. All right, ready. <laughs> it's not horrible. Yeah, but at the same time, I was kind of hoping it'd be like drinking a glass of like very thin gravy, mm. which is. Maybe what in my heart of hearts I just want to do yeah. is just drink a glass of hot gravy. And we'll do that next time we win. Okay, cool. <laughs> next time we win best podcast. Glass of gravy. Ugh, okay. Anyway, well, segment over. Thanks again, everybody. The victory though. segment is over. Boy, is it. One of my favourite things to do. Mm. Like we did after the live show, Mason. That's true, we did. Speaking of, yes. uh, that live show ended up costing me $242. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Uh-oh. Okay, so I thought I'll save a bit of money. I'll, I'll catch the train there and back. Uh-huh. Right? I was going to yes. get an Uber. Uh-huh. I thought, no, I won't do it. Yep. I'll be, I'll, you know, I've got a family, I've got responsibilities. Uh-huh. I should have taken the Uber because it would have saved me much, much many monies. So I had my feet on the seat of the train. Oh, what? <laughs> Just on the edge. I was going to say, <laughs> when, when, how did this happen? I'm uh, like, 
I, I was like, did he have? Did he miss the train and he had to? Was there surge pricing on the Uber? What's going on? This is a mystery. But here we go. Yeah. I've been doing. I've been putting my feet on the seat of trains for for twenty yeah. twenty plus years. That's the one remnant of you being a rebellious yeah. teen that's still left. I they mean. got me. Right. So I, I lost money on the show. So if you want to contribute to the Patreon, <laughs> that's all right. Mm. Anyway, I'm with the show, Mason. Comic card. Whee! Woo! I also woo. It's true. I'm just saying it's Comic Con week. Yes, yes. It's Christmas for nerds. It is Christmas for and nerds. And you're a little. We're a couple of little Christmas elves, <laughs> just building some little little bits of little bits of wooden content on strings that <laughs> little children can can drag, drag. along the street. That's yeah. right. Rattling away. The wheels don't quite turn properly. No, it's but... always tipping over. <laughs> yeah. But we tried our best, didn't we? But by God, does it sort of look like a dog with wheels? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. So that's good. I'm excited for this. Me too. Now, Mason, we've got to talk about Wonder woo! Woman. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah. Ah! <laughs> ah! <sighs> that's a man who can't woo. Oh, ah! right. <laughs> imagine him in Hall H. <laughs> yes, you know what I mean? Right. If you're on, oh, yeah. Can we get that going next year? That's going to be the new thing. I tell you what, <laughs> folks, if, you, if, if you're a listener to this show, you're somehow making an all Hall H. Hall H. Hall H. Hall H. The, uh, the, People the say, why do you say H? It's my accent. This is how I talk. I go back and forth. I'm not sure which one's correct. Wow. Well, yeah. No, it's not the way we say it. <laughs> no, for sure. But uh, if we could get somebody in there next year who, when everybody woos, yeah. just screams like they're being murdered, please. That would be great. Ah! What about Godzilla? What do you give that? Big old woo? Yeah, big old woo. Ah! All right, but the two trailers that are the big comic ones that were released. First yes. off, we had Aquaman. Yes. Uh, which people are a little lukewarm on, Mason. I haven't asked yep. you what you think of it yet. What do you think of it? It's a little bit by the numbers, which yeah. I understand. I understand why they're doing that because they're resetting. They're resetting. They're res- Are you going to do that voice for the rest of the podcast? I might have to, Mason. I'm stuck at it. You're committed to it. <laughs> oh, no. Now I'm committed to it I'm as not well. Happy. I'm not happy about this. I'm not oh, happy This is I'm a started. shame. This is really. Oh, oh, this isn't working, but it's kind of fun to do it, isn't it? <laughs> and we're out. I'm not. Oh, I'm no, no. I thought I was out too, but I'm not. <laughs> You brought me back into it because you're still in it. <laughs> Sorry, keep going. I'll let the dog out. Hang All on. right. Who let the dog out? Mason me. did. He's it's letting out the dog. Me. Who let the dog out? The me. dog's out. Me. There me. she me. goes. Me. She's gone. What do we got? Uh, speaking of Warner Brothers movies, though, they are kicking goals, I would say, other than um, uh, the DC universe and the Harry Potter universe. Okay, sure. Because the Lego... They have some they have some franchises left. They do. The Lego movie, the second part, too, yes. the second uh-huh. one, has, an, has another trailer. Mm-hmm. It's Mad Max, but it's Lego and Batman's in it and yep. Duplo and all those kinds. Of... Did you see the first one? No, I've seen Lego Batman, yeah, but right. I haven't seen the first Lego you movie. You get it then. I get, I get stuff, what do you, sure. What do you think of this trailer, then? I don't... The trailer, it felt like... Every time I see one of these trailers, it's this very much like, it does that thing that I've been sick of for years where it's just like, here's a big dramatic thing, but then I'm wacky. Yeah. Here's a big dramatic build, then a wacky joke. Here's a big dramatic build, and I'm doing a fart. You know, it's just... <laughs> and I'm doing a fart. And I'm doing a Precisely. I want a trailer where somebody says, and I'm, and doing, I'm doing a fart. fart. <laughs> so... There's a lot of DC news this week. Mm-hmm. Jeff Johns will apparently be stepping away from his executive post as president and chief creative officer of DC Entertainment to focus on creative matters full time. Is uh, he stepping away from the movies to finish Doomsday Clock? Is that? That's a good question. Mm. Oh, do you read the current one? No, I'm, we still, I'm, I'm not up to date. We can't do whatever it was. Watchmen Watch? Yeah, that was three weeks ago. I think we yeah. talked about this. Yeah. But uh, part of this though... Because people are like, well, is this a demotion? Is this a sidestep? Is this a personal reason? Is this because of the shake-up of Warner Brothers? But this is going to include him launching Mad Ghost Productions. Mad Ghost Productions! <laughs> Mad Ghost! Mad Ghost! <laughs> ghost. Um, if you're listening, Jeff Johns, and we know you're not, uh, if you're looking for a slogan, it's just two guys shouting Mad Ghost. <laughs> So bad, you know, you know, bad hat Harry Productions when it when it closes, it's like that's some bad hat Harry or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it's, it's just it's us going bad ghost, bad ghost, bad ghost. <laughs> we're doing head gestures yeah. as well. Yeah. Just so we're we're doing wild gang signs. <laughs> I guess it's kind of like the Chris Nolan because his his production company kind of handled a yeah, lot yeah. of the Dark Knight. What's his one called again? Uh, I don't know. Is he British? Production. Is he British? Is he British? Is he British? Is he from Boston? Is he both? Did he grow up? He's British. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Was, Mad Ghost! I was going to say, the only reason I asked for the, the name of his production company is so I could yell it. <laughs> okay, right. Legendary? No, no it's, it's the one with the, it's one with the, the maze. You know the one? Uh, Syncope or something? Syncope! Is that yeah, it's it? Syn- it's Syncope. Okay, yeah. 
Good. Sucker P. <laughs> In other news, Mason, of people leaving things, uh, Danny Boyle has officially left Bond, Bond 25. 25. Untitled yeah. Bond. I don't know. Anyway, I think this is a terrible idea. I mean, as as we know, Mason, we both agree that Sunshine is the best movie ever made. No, which do you is even really Boyle believe movie. that it's we the best movie? We both believe ever. it, Mason. Do you think it's the best movie ever made? It's a movie that was made and it is the best one. So, yes, that is what I believe. Such a, what a bold claim by you. <laughs> you can't think of a single other movie that might be better. Can you? I mean, not currently, because we've said that you've said Sunshine and I'm so filled with rage uh, that I can't, I can't think of, you know, when somebody's like, Logan Lucky's pretty good. I watched that this week. It's a good okay, movie. <laughs> yeah, it is a good movie. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Mm. When you, when somebody's like, name a movie, and you're like, I can't think of a single uh, movie. Yeah. Mm. I can't now. I see. Tarzan. That's not. <laughs> Why would that one be the one? Yeah. Anyway. Uh. So I don't know how this. What direction this is going to go. People are speculating that maybe uh Craig's going to walk away. But I I don't imagine so- he- Craig David. Yeah, <laughs> like that song he did. Very good, mm-hmm. well done. Mm-hmm. But he, um, <laughs> you look so happy with yourself about that. <laughs> I'm trying to wait. I'm trying to think of a way to tweet that. But it's impossible, <laughs> guys. You'll guys, never just guess. a bit of backstory. <laughs> remember the remember the artist Craig David. Well, he had a song called "Walking Away." Anyway, second tweet. Here we go. No, I don't know. Mason, it was a great week for seeing Batman's dick. Absolutely. I think it might have been the best week in history if I had to. Th- Think about it, which I am, and I will, and I do. I can't. I mean, this is this is very. It's momentous, isn't it? I think it's probably since uh, the Schumacher era of Batman codpiece. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we got nipples back in the day. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Plenty of bat butt. Plenty of bat butt. This is the, the premise. I think readers. of this. It's a limited series called Batman mm. Damn. Yeah. And Batman Damn. Damn. Uh, I bet I'm the first person to make that joke. I was going to make it, I'll be honest with you. If you didn't, then I was, I was the say. first. Yeah, exactly. The Joker turns up dead and Batman yeah. is a suspect or something like that. Yeah, and uh, John's like, I can't be the suspect because look at my dick. <laughs> look at it. Now, th- there's a bit of controversy. Not so much that you see Batman's dick. Most people seem to be okay with that. But in the digital version, it's altered, so you can't. Right. And people are like, well, that's kind of suppressing freedom of expression or whatever. I mean, I don't like seeing your dick as much as the next person, but I'll be damned if you're censoring dicks. As Voltaire with- said, I'll, I'll disagree with seeing the dick, but I'll defend to the death your right to see a dick in a Batman comic. Uh, I don't care no, about whether it's matter. in or yeah. out. or uh-huh. I think the comic is fine. I don't think it's as bad as people say, and it is a first issue. There's some ideas in it that I really like, and the art is really good. Okay. Because of the dick. Because of the dick, yeah. yeah. It really pops. It really, really looks like it's coming right at you. <laughs> yeah, right. But, uh, mm. but I, I reckon you should give it it's a read. It's erection heavy and erection heavy. It's not erection heavy. I don't okay. think... We've never seen Batman's erect penis in comic. <laughs> That's so comics, true. And I think... Yet. Yet. Batman uh, damned issue two. <laughs> Three so and four. Now's the time to make mm-hmm. that happen. Yeah. It's not a big deal to put a dick in a comic either. And mm. like sex criminals do it all the time. There's a bunch of other comics that do it. It's just because it's Batman. Yeah, sex it's- criminals do put dicks in comics all the time. <laughs> they cut a hole in it. <laughs> so yeah it's just because it's batman um uh, mm-hmm. but hey i'd love to know what anyone thinks of this i guess yeah for sure yeah mm-hmm. i think some people are upset because it canonically says what kind of dick batman has <laughs> you know what i mean because prior to this it was a mystery <laughs> now we don't you know? oh man it's now, good now to- it's more or less relatable depending you know yes <laughs> uh 6.99 australian so yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's okay. quite a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the art is really good. Prestige edition. That's right. Yeah. Dick edition. Dick edition. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you might like this news. Basically, uh, Ava DuVernay, uh, she's going to be directing the New Gods movie over that's at DC. Right. I like the I like the sound of this a lot. Me I didn't too. think they'd get around to New Gods. Explain the New Gods, Mason. Well, the New Gods. So in the DC universe. Uh, oh, you know what? They're more omnipotent than the Marvel gods. Yeah. You know, you've got a character like, there's a character called Metron who basically, mm. he sits in a time travel chair and he has control over space and time. Sure. But he chooses not to use it most of the time. Except for pizzas. Sometimes pizzas. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he does that. He's like, hmm, it seems you got here in 31 minutes. So now my pizza's free. And the pizza guy's like, but I I left early and everything. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> what he does. Uh, <laughs> the space and time gonna, is just, just flying, flying around, him. around him. And his boss is back at the pizza joint like, mm, this guy. Mm, I knew I couldn't trust this new guy. People are also saying, Wrinkle in Time didn't do well. Why is she getting this? 
A lot of directors fail upwards. Every, every director in Hollywood fails upwards. There's so many. Like, you, your star dips slightly and then you get given another block. But it's like, Correct. it's fine. Who can, yeah. Until it's, you, like some weird personal thing comes out about your life and then you, you're, you're forced to quit forever. Exactly, that's true. <laughs> that's, the, that's the trajectory. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, speaking of people with weird personal lives, Charlie Clawson, our friend. Yes. I think he should be Mr. Miracle. You've mentioned that before. I he agree. Like I think him. he'd be a great Mr. Miracle. He's got that yeah. rugged charm. He's got the bod. He's got what it takes, Mason. He's got what it takes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He's got that world-weary charm about him. Exactly. And stubble. He's he's mostly the stubble. Agreed, yeah. Anyway, let's get get a hashtag going. (laughs) Charlie for Mr. Miracle. Very good. I'm going to tweet it once and it will get no traction. (laughs) No, he would be. He would legitimately be a good Mr. Miracle. I think so. He's been on the show before, as people I'm sure remember. Which is the one qualification for being one of the new gods. (laughs) That's right. Who else can we get? Matt Stewart. Matt Stewart can be... Orion. Exactly. Ben Vanell, Metron. <laughs> Claire the- can be Dark Side. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, I was going to say Big Barter, but all right. No, fine. Dark Side. Okay, Dark Side. Oh, dog's here. I'll Hang let on. the dog in. Hello, hello dog. dog. Who let oh, the dog, hello, dog in? Claire. Claire, did. Claire, Claire, Claire did. She did. I'm oh, sorry, can we help you, Greg? Busting in on our podcast time? I'm so sorry. I just needed a USB to watch three billboards. Oh, uh, there. Sorry. What do you mean? But aren't, but aren't you going to the movies to watch Three Billboards? Because it's yes, not out. I am going to the movies to watch Three Billboards. Mm. What do you need okay. the USB for? Yeah, that's weird. It's plugged in. It's on top. It's sitting on top there. Yeah, yeah that that's it. What's happening here, Mason? I don't know. Remember when we used to do a podcast, Unencumbered? I didn't have a family. But what were you going to do? What were you going to mime Three Billboards to me? You're going to charades it to me. <laughs> You're right, this is my fault. Okay, bye, Claire. Bye. Oh, boy, trouble in paradise. I tell you what, Mason. Yeah. I don't know if it's meant to last. (sighs) Can I I admit that to you here? Yeah, it's just us listening. (laughs) No, she's great. Uh, What else we got here? Ah, Mason. Yes. Time to get into some weird comic book shit that probably won't work. You excited? Okay, great, I'm ready, yeah. Okay, Vin Diesel has joined the movie Bloodshot as the character Bloodshot. Bloodshot, incredible. What do you think about that? Bloodshot. If you if you're not aware of Bloodshot, he's like an albino mm. man. He's got a big like a red mark on his on his head, and he's like the ultimate nanite powered super soldier. Yes, uh, and he's like ripped beyond like you could ever believe. He's like early two thousands triple X ripped. Exactly, but yeah. Vin Diesel is an egg in a vest, as we've established many times. He's an egg yeah. in a vest. I mean, he's a fit man for his age. He's certainly obviously. more fit than us, definitely. But he's not. This. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, I, I like Vin Diesel a lot and I like Fast and Furious movies and probably that movie where he hunted witches was also really good. Uh-huh. I bet it was. And I love Triple X 2, sort of. Me too. <laughs> do you mean 3? Triple X 2 yes, had Ice I Cube. Do. I do mean 3. Well, I haven't seen 2, so that's why I call Triple X 3 Triple mm-hmm. X 2. Yeah. You know that, right? Remember that part in Triple X 3 where they all, we all think they're done for and then Triple X 2 shows up <laughs> yeah. and everybody's like, it's Triple X 2, he's got a grenade launcher. Remember that? I remember oh, that so, so much of that movie. Oh, so good. Remember when he went and picked up his gross coat? Yeah. Just like a dead rat. It was remember horrible. When he like banged like 18 women or whatever <laughs> yeah. it was. Oh, very believable. They should, I hope they make another one. Me too. Yeah. Speaking of uh, movies that could very well be bad, Hello. I don't think this will be bad necessarily, but that Venom trailer is no good. It's absolutely no good. <laughs> what were they thinking? Here's, a, here's an idea. What I'd like everybody out there to do mm-hmm. is get, a, get the Venom trailer on your phone. Yep. Don't give any context. Show it to a friend of yours or like a family member or something, somebody who doesn't know anything about superhero movies or they're not into it whatever yeah show them the trailer so there's no wrong answers what is this movie about (laughs) and see what their reaction is absolutely because i think a lot of people will be like is it about a guy who has cancer or is this another one of those jason bourne movies without jason bourne yeah (laughs) what is this yeah exactly yeah it's a really yeah it's it's a great experiment if people could get back to us on doing that uh, look, answers were many and varied. Yes. Uh, Ross McQueen said, I uh, uh, showed it to my dad and he said, some guy gets bit by a snake and turns into a superhero. <laughs> I don't know, some Marvel crap, they're all the same. So that's fair. Um, Alex Hill said... A snake or some Yeah, crap. pretty good, right? Yeah. I haven't oh, seen any snakes great. in the trailers. But you know what? Yeah. On a surface level, yeah. a lot of superhero movies are just something just that. like that. Exactly. This is, this is an insight into the genre that we love. 
is if you show it to an external party, they're like, this is just some garbage. What does he get bitten by a dog and he turns into a super dog? This is garbage. It's so stupid. What are you doing? Get a real job. Pay some taxes. Um, Alex Hill says, I showed his girlfriend the Venom trailer. Uh, her comments are below. Oh, Tom Hardy. I like him. That's Great. fair. Is this, this means war too? <laughs> Oh, wait, it's one of those dumb movies you like. <laughs> maybe they haven't finished the Venom design. Nah, maybe they, maybe they're they literally like, we don't know what he's supposed to look like yet. <laughs> right. They have to give him the giant snappy jaw. I think thing, so, right? yeah. yeah. And that's... The tooth. The sharp tooth. Oh, yes. Venom. Very, very good. good. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that we both know when a thing we did was very good. <laughs> Because God knows nobody out there thinks it's very good. No, but only, good. We, only us in the moment know that us just giving a bit of a snap to the teeth directly in the microphone was in fact it was very, very good. good. It was very good. Okay, Mason, what's next? Ah, oh, this is a good thing to talk about. Avengers Infinity War has a brand new trailer. What? Mason and I had a breakdown and did a trailer breakdown for this <laughs> yes. for this film. Uh-huh. Uh, it's like 15 minutes was long. Was this a surprise to you? No, I knew it was out? coming for about two weeks, uh-huh. but I didn't know exactly, so I kept kind of like... It felt well, like... What are you going to do, though? Like, well, it's not the same because I need to clear a day to do it, a day and a night. Yeah, right. So it felt like when Claire was pregnant and I couldn't do anything for two weeks. <laughs> right. I'm like, well, I can't drink. I can't leave the house. Uh-huh. But it wasn't that bad. All I could do was work on trailer breakdowns. Yeah. <laughs> but so then it did come out on the day of my mother-in-law's birthday. So I, I there's a, there was a good chunk of time then that I couldn't work on it. But then I did work on it. Wow. Anyway, it's out. I'll link it below. It's got so many details. Also, I say that Age of Ultron came out in 2014 twice in the video, and that is incorrect. Oh. So there's hundreds of comments <laughs> correcting me. Oh, no. But yeah, when did it come out? 2015. Okay, yeah, then. Probably. Well, you know what? I'm going to say it's it's still 2014. I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think? Time's just a construct, man. Exactly. <laughs> My pizza's late. I got a question for you. Yes. What color is the vision's face? It's red. Is it? You think it's purple? I think it's, it's purple. Not. But a lot of people, I I actually looked at the actual color of it. Uh-huh. It's not red. No, he's red. No, no. I've looked at like the actual color of it is of not. What? Of his face is not red. Like I've got the actual pigment of it and I've checked. In what? How did so you do I, that? So some of us in a in an image. He's program. not. Thanos is purple. Yeah, that, I'm not saying he's purple. Purple. You're saying it's a different shade. It's more like a. It's more like a pinky purple. It's a pinkish red. He's a pinkish red at best. Okay. Right, he's not Mason. purple though. You keep saying he's purple. I'm going to keep wrong. saying it. No. 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 <laughs> Maybe I'm colorblind. I think you Maybe are. I don't know what colors are. Maybe that's probably true. Yeah, fair enough. All right, if well, you Google the Vision, yeah, the first comic book based result, he'll be red. No, no, I'm not talking about comic books. I'm talking about no, the no. movies. I know you are, Mason. Ah, uh, oh, he just did his little nano rocket boost thing. I'm just watching the trailer. You're watching again. the trailer again. The cool. things that I missed. What, did you miss anything? No, I've never missed anything. Why would you? That's right. Ah, uh, well, we see, we see Shuri's back. Yep, yep. She's, I don't she's, think she's going to play much. She's of examining a role. the vision in some way. Mm. Uh, let's see. I don't know, man. Some of these images, he looks very purple. Mm. He's definitely pinkish. We can agree on that, well, look, right? In the Tom King run, he's pink. Yeah, but I think that the idea is he's meant to be more human in that. I don't know. I think also the the um. The green offsets it a little bit, like the color, like yeah, it right. throws it a bit. Uh-huh. I mean, oh, look at that. Like, that's not red. It's reddish. Your well, purple it's is egg, reddish. It's, yeah. it's beetroot. He's beetroot. Can we agree that he's beetroot? I can absolutely agree that okay. he's beetroot. Yeah. Right. Uh, there's a new Avengers TV spot. There's a few clips and bits and pieces in it. Nothing too spectacular. Uh-huh. Yeah. Put oh, on their website. Lock it down. All right, I will. Yeah, good. Yeah. But uh, here's something interesting. Yes. Chris Evans uh, says he's going to say goodbye to Captain America after Avengers 4. Mm. Uh, his exact quote was... I'm out of here, suckers. Um, yeah. <laughs> you want to get off the train before they push, is what he Ooh. said. Is he referring to his role in Snowpiercer? It's Snow a metaphor, yes. Yeah, for sure, Correct. yeah. I thought this would be a good opportunity, though, to talk about uh, who, who could continue the role after he's gone. We've talked right. about this before. Uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. How about this one? Yes. You ready for this? No. John Favreau, you do it a comedy. You make it a happy. You make oh, a happy nice. Hogan, Captain happy America. America. Yeah. Nice. What do you think of that? Yes. 
<laughs> They'd never do it. Swingers, made. <laughs> he's in a food truck. Exactly. Going around America. <laughs> he's cooking up. He's cooking something up in the shield like it's a wok. A brisket. A, he's cooking up a brisket in the back of the shield. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Mm, love a brisket. They won't do it, but... No. I think that would be... I think that could work. Yeah, for sure. Or he has to, like, road trip mm. Captain America shield... Across the country or something. Nice. And he's getting into scrapes. Well, he's always he's always shipping shield tech, isn't exactly, he? Exactly, yeah. So maybe the, the Quinjet breaks down and he has to hitchhike. He has to hoof it. <laughs> exactly. He meets all the weird characters along the way. Exactly. He meets that guy who's a weird space trucker. <laughs> yeah. He meets all the weird characters they don't know what to do with, but they own. So he, they got to use them at some point. I love it. You yeah. could either call it Happy America yeah. or Happy's America. Yeah. Because he's, he's seeing all of America's. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm a genius. Yeah, it's very good. I would love to see like Cap Hydra modern day with Chris Evans. Yeah, right. To, like rest him for five years or whatever. Uh-huh. Bring him back. Say yeah. he's killed in Infinity War. Bring him back, but he's evil. Exactly. Like Red the, Skull brings the, him back. It's but, the, the cube yeah. messed with his brain or whatever. They should absolutely do that. Yeah. So these are all great ideas. There's not that a bad said, one among That is it. quite a lot like the Winter Soldier yes. being evil. So. But that, I, I think that's an interesting arc as well. Okay. Because right. it's everyone's like, yay, Captain America, America's back. Oh, no, he's the worst <laughs> now, you know? I think that's There's some free dialogue for you, Marvel. <laughs> oh, no, he's the worst now. You give that to Happy Hogan. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right. Mason, I know you'd love to... You talk Captain America Happy's all Happy's Hoagies. Day. <laughs> that's the name of the truck that he's trucking across America. Mm, yum, Very yum, yum. good. Very good. What's next, Mason? I don't know. What do you got? Oh, yeah. That's, that's right. I do this. <laughs> You're the uh, news. Sometimes I have news, but very but you, rarely. You were giving so much information. I thought yep. you were doing the news this week. Uh, Amy Pascal, who you know is a big head honcho over at Sony. Boy, do I ever know uh, that. Responsible for a, pretty, uh, for a lot of the pretty bloody hot run that's happening there at the moment. Uh-huh. Uh, she, and also a bunch of bad stuff. She <laughs> says uh, she's hoped they're committing Spider-Man to the MCU after Spider-Man Far From Home. They are committing him. Yes. Okay. That so they're thing. not going to claim him back. They're not going to be well, like, we had two, su- we had one successful thing and one inexplicably successful thing. <laughs> yeah. We're taking him back. I don't necessarily think this means anything. Like at this point, I mean, it's yeah. not, it doesn't mean it's not bad news. Uh-huh. We'll just got to see because things change. You know. Yeah. Right. Success and failure, you know, are one and the same. Yeah. Correct. No, they're two not. sides of the same coin. Yeah, I guess they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, these I guys. Knew I'd hit, I knew I'd hit some wisdom eventually. <laughs> You just say random things just together. Just things, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's a roll of the dice? Yeah, it's a yeah. roll of the dice, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, good. Yeah. Sometimes things are just crazy enough to work, you know? Sometimes they... Wisdom. Yeah, well, that's good, Mason. Mm-hmm. Two sides of the same coin. That's right. Really, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's a real flip of pancake. Is that an expression? It is now. It's a real yeah. flip of the pancake. <laughs> I make a lot of pancakes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My kid loves banana pancakes. That's all I do in the morning. Do you mean the Jack Johnson song? No, I, oh, okay. I would never allow that in my house. <laughs> That's a good song. I like that song. It's a fun song. Mm-hmm. It's a fun song. Okay, uh, b- d- before we talk... It's... You don't, don't... Look, all I'm saying is do not d- disallow Jack Johnson in your house because otherwise that's all the kid's going to be listening to. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're probably if right. you're like, I will not have any Jack Johnson in my house. Soon enough, he's going to be bringing in a djembe. Yeah, you know, that's exactly a 12-string it. guitar. I won't have it. Mm-hmm. Just quickly, Mason, people think you need flour in pancakes. Not true. You can do a flourless pancake. Wow. Two eggs. Cracking two eggs. Uh, flowers where all the taste is, but continue. <laughs> Disagree. Two eggs, one banana, mm-hmm. cinnamon, just a just a pinch of bloody uh, baking powder. Mm-hmm. That's all you need. I thought you were going to say a pinch of bacon. Yeah. Look, I, I, I put in protein powder also, but yeah. if, if it's for a kid, that's all you need. It's got, it's got, it's Unless you want a really bulky kid. Yeah, unless you're really bulky. <laughs> White as a fridge kid. Yep. <laughs> that's what you want. Yeah. So I'm just saying, that's this a little recipe you can, buddy, you can okay, do it home, that, right? Take, put that in your pocket soap for later. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Chuck some fruit on there afterwards if you want. And wow. maybe some coconut and yogurt. It's up to you. Wow. Yeah. It's dairy free. Mm-hmm. It's gluten free. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know yep. what I mean? <laughs> yep. Doesn't sound like it's fructose free if you're throwing some fruit on there, though. Well, it depends on the fruit you put in it, Mason. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, most fruit, if not all, has fructose. Mm. I don't know that for a fact. Anyway, <laughs> what's wrong with fructose? I don't know. Some people don't like fructose. Some people are also allergic to fructose. That's and true. if you have, say, an acid reflux, it can have dire consequences. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You shit yeah. your pants. All that's right. Not, that's not true. Okay. It might be. Mm. Mason, what do you think of Scott Derrickson returning for Doctor Strange 2 in 2020? Cool. We're going to get the return of the ancient one? No, she's dead. Okay. But maybe. Wong. Rachel McAdams. Yeah, Rachel McAdams. Mm-hmm. Benjamin Bratt. Yep. The Lamborghini that went off a cliff. Oh, maybe. Yeah, it's back and it talks now. <laughs> I smashed your hands. <laughs> I'll do it again. 
Oh, I thought he'd be penitent. <laughs> no. Sorry about your hands. <laughs> no, no. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> You're on your phone. Yeah. You did this. <laughs> Come at me, bro. <laughs> Also, I like how he's not Italian. He's Italian. He's just, <laughs> no, he's just... He's just from wherever. <laughs> well, it's like Doctor Strange. Where's he from? Yeah, that's true. Just a yeah. generic whatever accent. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did you think Henry? Hands Ca- up, ten and two. <laughs> Goggles and gloves. Wear a seatbelt. <laughs> I won't tell you again. Uh, Ryan Michael Bendis is to write a mystery X Men movie that's currently titled One Four Three. The rumor has it though that it's actually a Kitty Pride story. What does One Four Three stand for? One Four Three. From three mm. refers to it. If you just wait a second, Mason, right. you just right. trip me up in the middle of my bloody. That was the plan. I'm doing yes. a podcast here, mate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wait, is that what we're doing? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> refers- I thought you cared about my opinions. <laughs> <laughs> refers to uh, one four three refers to her first solo adventure. It's not. A, it's not an introduction, but first solo adventure where she faces a demon alone in the X Mansion, which sounds great. It could be Kitty Pride's Logan. Maybe. Yeah. Log- Let's have your Patrick Stewart. Let me check. <clears throat> Logan. It's not bad. Not bad, it's like right? old, yeah. Like, yeah. like he's been punched in yeah, the yeah, chest. Yeah, that's right. Logan. That's good too. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Yeah, nice. Mine was different. Mine was more cu- like, cu- come on. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? Right, yeah. Right, right. We'll come back to that though. Okay, good. <laughs> another, another week. We if gotta... people could suggest <laughs> scenarios for us, I think it'd be a good test for us and our incredible impressions. Yeah. Suggest scenarios in which... Patrick Stewart as Professor X has to use the, the word Logan and then we'll do our best impressions of yeah, that. If, somebody, if you could email in or tweet at us, yep, definitely. that would be good. All right, Mason. I feel like this has been real low energy. Is that cool? I think it's been very high energy. Wow. Yeah, that's right. Okay, we have different perspectives, don't we? Okay, hang on, I'm just going to stop. For, I'm just going to look up something real quick. What are you looking up? Just Tell a me. thing. What are you looking up? All right. Just a bloody thing. You're typing right? boobs into Google again, Mason. Uh, no. Uh, I don't believe you. Last week, we asked the listeners to tweet at us to do our impression of Professor X. Oh, right. If we could both do our impression of Professor X. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, Where are we at? What do we got? Let's see. Uh, Okay, so this is uh, Professor X is in the bathroom and needs Logan to quickly bring toilet paper. This is for you. What? I bet you have an easier one. Uh, I'll find it. I'll find a really difficult one. Okay, hang on. Logan! (laughs) Pretty good. What was that like? No, it was good. Uh... Don't me to find you one. Okay. No, no, you just pick one. Okay, it's fine. Uh, let's see. Okay, so uh, this is from Cole Kraus. It's Cole Kraus on Twitter. Uh, Professor X trying to get Logan's attention as he's walking out the door after finding out Professor X is having another man's baby. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many layers to this. A lot this. of layers. So I gotta, a lot okay. to convey in one word. Yeah, right. Okay. You can do this. Okay. <clears throat> Logan. <laughs> <laughs> it was like remorse. Yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. lot in that. Yeah, yeah. I was expecting anger, and you went a different way. Wait, 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 I can, I'm, really I can, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna shake. I it thought out. that I'm was gonna, really good. All right, all right. Logan, it's much the same. But <laughs> no. I think, yeah, you had your hand up in that yeah, one. I did, though. Yeah, that's right. It was a little act out. It helps, I think. Yeah, anyway. definitely. Anyway, we'll do a couple more of those until we if forget. You got suggestions. Until we forget, it's a thing, and then yeah, we'll stop right. doing it. That's right. Which will probably be very soon. This is a rumor relating to the X Men. Again, these are all rumors. It's probably bullshit. But, Sick uh, of these rumors. Yeah, but apparently definitive answers. You want? Well, here's some definitive stuff, mate. Okay, great. It's not a small rumors. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's exactly the opposite of what I wanted. Uh, apparently, Marvel president Kevin Feige. It's pronounced Denaro. Denaro oh. Feige. Thank you. <laughs> he's uh, even though he said he hadn't hasn't given any thoughts to the X Men and Fantastic Four at this stage. Velika claims that he wants to bring in Galactus and the Silver Surfer into the MCU. So that would be an interesting way to kind of herald the arrival of the Fantastic Four. Oh, herald. Yeah, no that's what intended. I'm saying, Mason. I'm using No, terms. I picked... No, you, no, you, you did it that. wasn't an accident. No, you did that accidentally and I picked up on it because Silver Surfer is a herald of Galactus. You know what? I mm-hmm. genuinely think it was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, give yourself some credit. <laughs> what? So now that I'm giving it to you, you don't want it? No, I don't want it anymore. Yuck. <laughs> So, yeah, I think that would... I mean, who, would you want to see giant Galactus? Yes. Not a cloud. Not a like cloud. Like a big... Big purple man, big, big horned man. helmet yeah, thing. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, the 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 Ultimates, which is a Marvel comic book series, Yeah. Uh, a couple of the opening storylines for that, it was the Ultimates, which includes Black Panther and Captain Marvel, mm. sort of taking on Galactus. Yeah. So, chuck that in there. Maybe. Bit cosmic. Bit Love of cosmic. It. Get cosmic. Mm-hmm. 
Get Cosmic Mason. Okay. That's my new catchphrase. Oh, wow. Get Cosmic Mason. What? It just, it's just for you. The, huh. the catchphrase applies to nobody else. Huh. And okay? in what context? Just to get you motivated. Oh, it's a motivational thing. If you see Mason on the street, you tell him to get Cosmic. Get Cosmic, right? if you could. Tell him on Twitter. Yep. Just get Cosmic, oh, all right? I want to get Cosmic. <laughs> Uh, the last room. I'm so excited for that now. I'll be honest. <laughs> I won't lie to you. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be no. This is gonna be great. <laughs> You're gonna love it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Unless people start throwing stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not part of getting cosmic. Mm. By the way, that doesn't help, does yeah, it? No. So I just heard the door slam shut. I'm gonna check if there's anybody in my house. Yeah. Okay. Everybody, cool. be cool, just for All a right. sec. It was just Greg slamming doors. Mm. My wife, Greg. Um, she loves a door slam. I don't know if you know that about her, Mason. I didn't Sometimes know that. when my son's asleep, sli- my hun, my son's asleep. <laughs> he sleeps less now. When the hun's asleep, <laughs> uh, uh, the he's... hun never sleeps. It's by true. war bonds. <laughs> if he's having a nap during the day, I'm like, listen, I know you're going out. Can you just not slam the door on your way out? She's like, I never slam the door, and I'm like, you slam it literally every time. Can you just please? And she's like, how dare you? And she just did it. Just did it. Then. Did everybody just hear that? <laughs> just did it then. <laughs> And she'll just slam it. And I'm like, and I'm just, just, I'm like, look, I'm not having a go at you. I'm not trying to start a fight. Just please don't slam the door. Wow. Anyway, this is of... really going to start a fight if your wife listens to this podcast, yeah. which she will not. I don't mind putting some insights into a failing marriage into a podcast, Mason. <laughs> okay, true. You know that about me. I'm yeah, very open to that. Yeah. Just checking this is all happening, Mason. Oh, yeah. I think it is. Oh, yeah, it's broken. Oh, yeah, nice. Bloody getting into it. Uh, big re- stuff happening this week. Ready Player One uh, screened at South by Southwest festivals whatever it was is that what that festival's for sx sx again i thought that was a music festival i thought that was all for people holding up their phones no you're filming a filming a filming a weezer mason that's the most current reference i have (laughs) weezer Weezer, yeah and then people like the emblem logo came up at the start you know the et yeah for sure yeah and people cheered and they it's (laughs) et ah he's in a little basket (laughs) on a bike oh my god God! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty much it. Uh, Mason, do you love Uwe Boll? The director of Postal and... Other Crap? Other Crap, yes, yes, for sure. Good. What's he done this time? He's suing Warner Brothers yes. uh, for taking the name Rampage from his Rampage trilogy of films. Because huh. the movie Rampage, as you know, is not based on a video game from the 80s. No. It's a new thing that they stole. That's from correct, Uwe yes. Boll. Amazing. And Postal's just about a guy who got That's based on a video game. How can he not know there are movies based on video games? And it's just a movie about, a, again, a guy who just gets mad at society and just goes on a shooting rampage. He also has a movie from 2011 called Blubberella. <laughs> What's that? Please read that out. I mean, you can probably guess. But, uh, an action comedy centered on an overweight woman whose footsteps cause explosions and whose dual swords are used against anyone who makes fun of her. It's also set in 1940 in Germany. There's a character called Vag, but it's not Blubberella. Clint Howard's in it. There's a character who's addicted to blood. I assume drinking blood. Blubberella's half half vampire. Okay. Yeah. There's so much in that. It's so many ideas. I'm not finished. (laughs) Blubberella loves nothing better than killing Nazis and a substantial turkey on rye. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) This sounds like fun. So so she's overweight and it's the 40s and she drinks blood. And uh, eats uh, turkey on rye. Oh my god. Yeah, Hitler's in it. <sighs> this is the last line of this synopsis, which has been submitted by Anonymous, so I can okay. only <laughs> I can only imagine why. Blubberella, <laughs> she's coming big time. Oh god. Yeah, why? Good stuff. Anyway, nice. over bowl, look I yeah, good on him. Good stuff. No. Some of the best stuff. Fuck him. Yeah. And everything he's ever done. Yeah. Okay. Get out of here. Uh Creed 2 got a new trailer, though. Yes, First trailer. So wait, is this, this isn't set immediately after Creed 1? I Like a few years after. What I happened think. at the end of Creed 1? He won. He was nice. Creed. Okay. Because at the start of this or trailer... Or was he? Or did he? See, that's what I'm saying. Because yeah. at the start of this trailer, he's clearly been beaten to a pulp by someone. Yeah, right. Okay, maybe he didn't. Okay, let's see. Uh, Conlon won the fight, but Creed won the night. Okay. What if all... this opens with, Creed, why are you... 
What are you, what you doing? I mean, that was you lost that one by quite a close margin, but the rest have been very, very distant margins. You are getting pulped out there, mate. This is not good. I think you fluked that narrow loss last time. You're bad at boxing, mate. I don't know who this guy is. Is the only Australian reporter in the yeah. pit? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, he was his coach. That was the coach. Oh, was the co- his coach is Rocky. Oh, he's got a new coach. He's though. got a new coach. <laughs> okay. He's Australian and he's incredulous. <laughs> what are you? What are you doing, what are you doing mate? <laughs> what were you doing before this? Maybe go back to that. <laughs> What was he doing? I can't remember. Just boxing, I think. Yeah, he's just yeah, boxing. He was yeah. just always boxing. Yeah. <laughs> I like that character a lot. He's good. Maybe he'll be back one day. I hope so. But no, I... Oh, no, I've fallen down. Well, I'm dead now. <laughs> he won't be coming back. He won't dead. be coming back. Nah. This is kind of exciting news, Mason. Um, they're making a legendary and making a live-action Gundam film. Ooh, that's exciting. Gundam style. Ooh. Now, does that mean... Gundam style. Now, I get it. <laughs> Do you remember that song? Uh, yes, I remember it. That's what the, I'm referencing. Yeah, it. I remember. Yeah, yeah, we all remember Psy. <laughs> we get it. Um... Does Legendary also operate King Kong and Godzilla? Yes, they there. do. Oh. And Pacific Rim. Oh, 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 mate. But who... So do you think that's what they're doing here? No, I don't think so. Yeah, this because this is a... What, what do you know about this? I've only seen clips of this show as a kid. And I'm like, this looks great, but I've never seen I'll it. I'll be honest, I don't know anything about it. I know it's I, the future. I know there's a big of... statue. There's a big Gundam sta- uh, statue Gundam in Japan. Style. Gundam style. <laughs> it's Gundam style, exactly. Um, do you want what sort of Gundam do you want? Do you want the basic looking Gundam? I think you need to start there, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I think you probably do. I yeah. mean, as a huge fan of the series, that's what I want to see. As someone who knows the lore and knows yep. the continuity uh-huh. and what is and isn't. Uh-huh. And I know that it's not Robotech. Like, I know all these you, things. You're aware that it's not Robotech. You get it. That's yeah. what I want you know to say. One of these, you know one of these fly-by-night Gundam fans who's like, oh man, I love Gundam. I love, I love Gundams and Robotechs. I love it when they're friends. You know that they're not friends. Why would they be friends? Robotechs transform into fighter planes. Gundams don't transform into fighter planes, probably. They probably don't. Probably don't. As far as I'm aware, they... As a big fan, yeah. we're pretty sure they I know don't. that they look like they could and maybe yeah. they don't maybe they do though <laughs> yeah but maybe yeah anyway i hope all the gundam fans <laughs> out there have enjoyed gundam talk because we know what we're talking about just like you correct <laughs> <laughs> that's our slogan for this segment gundam talk we know what we're talking about just like you i feel we could expand this into a franchise yeah, definitely. about almost any topic <laughs> yeah mason uh we're gonna have first look at godzilla kings of monsters or king of monsters whatever oh, yes. it's called mm. when do you think we're going to get mecha godzilla how far are we away from that? I don't think we'd get it in this in this iteration of Godzilla. In this ever? So like you don't think six movies down they're like, okay, we've had him fight the rock. <laughs> yeah, right. And he went Who's to been sp- enlarged yeah. to giant size. He went to space. That was yeah. good. But the idea of like a several hundred foot tall robot dragon dinosaur, why? Why would that be a thing? Why would any of this be a thing? I know. It wouldn't. Right. Why wouldn't they just build a big missile? Because it doesn't work. Yeah, you need to right. pin it down and like tear its head off or something. Mm. I don't know. All right. There is a Japanese Godzilla movie yes. where real Godzilla fights the Godzilla 98 and just swats just him in like one like Into one move. the Sydney Opera House, I think? I think so, yeah. From uh-huh. memory? Yeah, yeah. great. Mm-hmm. Here's a movie that won't be set in the Sydney Opera House. The if some, you know what, if somebody could... If people, that was if, such a good segue. If people and you think, just stepped on yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Mason. That's what I do. If somebody could email in, because I had a thought and I had to express it. That's how podcasts work. <laughs> what would the podcasting industry be without idiots who suddenly have a thought and must express it because they think it's pure gold? There'd probably be less stuff, but it would be better. Correct. But yeah. we don't want... That's a world I wouldn't <laughs> want to live in. Absolutely not. What I'm saying is... If anybody has a thought about how they could integrate Mecha Godzilla into this universe, I would like to hear it. Okay, fair enough. Just, just build a big us. one. No. What do you mean no? That's that's it. That's all there is. Anyway, here's a movie that's not going to be set in the Sydney Opera House, Mason. Perfect segue, probably. The Joker but it's too origin far away movie. from the previous. <laughs> and it doesn't work. Yeah, it's, of course, it's terrible. <laughs> the Joker origin movie. Okay, so this is happening. Okay, what are, what are the odds that the end of this movie is? Flash pointy? No, the end of this movie is Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. They build a his... mecha Joker. But why would they build it? I'm yeah. you. I'm you. I'm skeptical. I'm making great points. It's me. <laughs> it's me, Matho. I'm making very valid points about fantastical elements in an otherwise fairly grounded movie. <laughs> me. I'm Matho. Me. Okay. That's very good. Thank you. It's a good impression of me. It's a good imp- it's, that's a fantastic impression of you doing an impression of me. Um... No, I'm saying, how about this movie ends with him killing 
Thomas and Martha Wayne. And again, that ties it into my favourite theory that the Batman 89 universe is... But this is a different universe than Don't the care, Batman we're tying them all together. Okay, they're all the same. Tying them all in. Okay. Is the, is the Dark Knight? Joaquin Phoenix, original Joker. Yep. Jared Leto, second Joker. Yeah, it's very... Anyway, I think it will be... <laughs> A yeah. movie? Yeah. Nice. I mean, they might cancel it. Yeah, I don't, it won't I'm, be I'm a movie, not going yeah. that far, but yeah. it seems like it's going to happen. I love the fact that at this point, we won't, won't even commit to <laughs> it's, it'll be a movie. <laughs> Notwithstanding the quality, we won't, we're won't. we not touching that with a 10-foot pole. No. But will it be a movie? Maybe. <laughs> I guess. Uh, here we go, Mason. Uh, you know me and you, we have a motto. We ride together, we die together. Absolutely, yeah. Bad boys for life. We know that, right? Yeah. We've got oh, those tattoos. Speaking about bad boys for life. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, it is happening. Uh-huh. Will Smith and Martin Lawrence are back on board. Are they too old for this? Are they both too old for this now? Because well, one of them was... Maybe one, was one of them too old for it in the last one? That's a good question. Anyway, I fucking hate these movies. <laughs> I've only, no, I've only seen the second one and I think it's terrible. Yep. Yeah, I hate it. I just remember hating uh-huh. it. Because you, you, we saw it together. Well, yeah, that's true. Because 2000- we ride together, we die together. <laughs> so, bad Boys for life. life. We watch every Bad Boys movie together except for the first one. <laughs> okay, Mason, this is another bit of news. Game of Thrones spin-off, it's been, it's been confirmed as what, what the story is. You ready? Yeah, Do you I'm ready. Do you want to know what the story was? I don't know. Do you want to tell me what the story I was? I absolutely have no idea what the story was, and I won't pretend to care. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Do you want me to skip this no, one? No, go ahead. I would like to know. <laughs> Uh, it's set thousands of years in the past, Ooh. and the series chronicles uh, the world's descent from the golden age of heroes into the dark, its darkest hour. And the one thing is for sure, from the horrifying secrets of Westeros history to the true origin, origin of the White Walkers, it's going to be warm. Seen, it's going to be snow, oh. because it's going to. I think they're going to hit the long night, oh. the big old, the big old winter. They call it. I was it. hoping for Game of Thrones goes tropical. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll start tropical. Yeah, I like hope so. Five or ten thousand years in the past, I can't remember. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was a there's a big old winter, and then it's like fucking spiders right everywhere, like big old big spiders. Sp- how big? Big as hounds, they say. Ooh. Yeah. So what do you think of that? That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and big as the hound. Bigger, maybe. Wow. He's pretty big too. Yeah, I know, He's a big right? man. Yeah. He'd be a good, good Lobo. Yeah. He would be a good Lobo. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good actor. He could definitely do it. I was cause, see. I was kind of hoping like. The, the Game of Thrones theme, but on a steel drum. <laughs> you know? <what> I mean? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Everybody's in a hammock. God, I hope. Drinking a tropical drink out of a pineapple. That sounds great. Right, what do we got here? There was a new Game of Thrones trailer. They didn't really show anything, but they did say it was some statues moving towards each other. And Incredible. Fire and ice coming together. Ooh. You didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. Uh, but you didn't have to. And cool. you didn't. I didn't. And yeah. they said the release date is April. So get ready. Okay, Gear right. up, Mason, for that show is you have to Is this the final season? Tell me again. Is it? Yes, but then there's a prequel. Then there's a prequel. So then we're going to all jump on board that. I had a question. Okay. There is a, I saw a bus shelter. Oh, ah, yeah. yeah, I know. End of the pretty story. Pretty good, Mason. You reckon about that? For a tram driver, that's pretty controversial. I know, right? But I get out. Mm. Um, but there was an ad for a, a, a George R. R. Martin book that is out now. Yeah. And it's a history of the yeah, dragons like, of like Westeros or something like that. Some shit, so yeah. is that... I mean, look, I, don't, I stopped reading those books, so I don't care if it ever comes out. But I know a lot of people, yeah. a lot of people care uh-huh. deeply about that book. They'd be steaming mad then. If yeah, he's of course just, they he's would. He's just releasing yeah. whatever. Yeah. He's going to release a Game of Thrones cookbook after this, I it reckon. It would not surprise me. Oh. A lot of those books are talking about various foods and oh. and, and such. A sweet bread? A su- there might even be a Game of Thrones cookbook. I there, bet there there'd is. There'd at least be an unofficial one. Yeah, right. And cookbook. Did you say cookbook I like said, me? Yeah, I will now. Yeah, it's called A Feast of Ice and Fire. Oh, great. Is it official? Unofficial. Official. Ooh. The official Game of Thrones companion. Ooh. Do you think all the actors get in there and they, they're like... That one-handed dude is giving it a go yeah, with absolutely. one hand? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, bloody, you know, Jon Snow cones. Oh, that's like good, that. Yeah, Mason. pretty good, right? And it's shaved ice in a little yeah. cup, but then it's got like maybe some raspberry through it, so it's all bloody. Like I like blood that, in the snow. Mason. Yeah. Uh-huh. Very good. Can you yeah. do another one? <sighs> Daenerys... Teriyaki sticks. <laughs> it's got blood through it as well. Lots of blood on it. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. yep. Do you do anything with Ned Stark? Ned Bread Stark. Bread Stark. Oh, there we go. Just some, for some starters. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Got blood through it. Yep. Bread starters. <laughs> yep. Got some blood on it. Look, conceivably we could do this all night, but we shall not. Yeah. So anyway, I'm glad it's coming back. April, not too far away. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Especially if you're listening to this in April. 
G- so gear close. up, mate. Yeah, yeah, that's really exciting for you. Wow, just, yeah. Yeah. We're capturing that magic. Oh, man. It's so exciting that we got a, a, our first look at uh, the Robin Hood trailer, Origin. There's no... S- oh, hello. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Claire's here. <laughs> wow, we, we are not... Claire, we've already had our celebration of Bovril. We drank this Bovril. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yes. no. <laughs> oh, well, you can't. It's 50 50. That's, that's why it smells like weird. Also, James, can you clear that song? I don't think you can legally. No, I probably, probably... can't. <laughs> Hopefully, it's low enough. No, it's fine. If we, eva- if we evaluate it in terms of review, we're yeah. allowed to use about that amount of time. It's that song sucks. Song. Oh. No, Ooh, that's all right. Controversial. Differences of opinion are important. So, it, For those who couldn't hear, it was Celebrate wow. Good Time, and Claire's got us three balloons. Superman. Superman, Batman, and one says, Happy Podcast Awards somehow. Yeah. We don't know how you got that one. Wow. Congrats, and there's the weekly planet colors inside. Oh, there is oh, two. Yeah. Thanks, Claire. I've got one for Party Boy Mason. Wow. One for James Clement, and then... <laughs> I don't have a name. <laughs> I don't get... I, one for... <laughs> Party boy Nick Mason. And one, and one for the sa- host of the podcast, James. <laughs> one for he wants sad dad. Superman one and he wants the Batman. I'll take the Superman. Superman. I'll take the oh, yeah, Superman I'll take one, Batman obviously. Then. Wow. I mean, it's new 52 Superman, but I'll take it. Yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that was going to go better in my head. That went no. perfectly. I loved it. <laughs> Claire, it's hard to top Bovril, but you've done yeah, it somehow. Yeah. Why, are you, why are you drinking stinky meat? People I'm made not us do it. Either of you. Yeah. I, I, you've gone well out of your way, Claire. It looks like you've planned Where for a child. Where did you hide those, Claire? I hid them in the garage. Because I went through every room in this house when I got here, <laughs> and I couldn't find them. He does. He does his balloon hunt every week. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Claire. <laughs> thank you, Greg. Anyway, congratulations on the award, guys. And thank you for going, so we didn't have to. For a second, that knock was very threatening. That's what I thought. I'm yes. like, is this the cops? Is it was like an a, angry neighbor. If you want, if you want to <laughs> knock and surprise somebody, the knock is dun 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 dun. Not, it's not <laughs> bum 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 bum. <laughs> Open up, there's a warrant! <laughs> I thought something bad was going to happen. Yeah, then. right? And I'm like, but how do they get How do they get through the front door to here? <laughs> Good question. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, Robin Hood yes. looks shit. <laughs> yeah. But we'll see it. Ah, oh, Mason, I'm excited because we didn't have any Star Wars news last week. Great! But now we get to have Star Wars news every week for the rest of time. Oh. I gave you that one week off. You did give me the one week <laughs> off, it's fair, so that's fine. All right, I'm fine. Rules are rules. Rules are rules. We've got a potential synopsis for the Obi-Wan film. Take this with Based on who? Who's, who's, exactly. Who's, you're right. Okay. Uh, I, as I said, though, Mason, take this with a grain of sand. Ooh. I've done a thing there. Oh, Tatooine. Yes. Okay. Fun beach times. Obi-Wan is on Tatooine being an elusive hermit and stuff. Well, this is... <laughs> I didn't read this before, but this is, this is great. But secretly watches over an infant Luke Skywalker whom he delivered to his aunt. Well, they used whom. Into his uncle, Owen. <laughs> Tension- Back to professionalism, I love it. <laughs> Tensions between the local farmers and a tribe of sand people, headed by a ruthless war chief, eventually brings everyone out of hiding and into Jedi kick-ass mode. And then it just says, then there's a full stop, then it says scene. It's not a scene. It's not a scene. Who wrote this? <laughs> this is not a Hollywood insider. I think the fact that it started with and stuff. Yeah, I don't think this is This is ap- And also... Look, and maybe we're wrong. We've been wrong many times. I don't see why how this could be good. He could kill a hundred sand people. Yeah. Did you remember when Anakin maybe Skywalker? Does. Maybe he does. Whoa. Anakin Skywalker did it. Remember when they showed up in bloody in the first Star Wars? He made a noise and they ran, ran off. Ran away. This isn't because he's killed. Because that's the noise of a man who's killed several <laughs> hundred sand people. No, it's a crate dragon, it. Mason. Oh. In the original, it's like a. But when they redid it, it goes oh. <laughs> like I changed it right. for the special edition. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ooh. Do you want to hear it? I can play yes, it. Okay, please. here we go. Okay. Right. That's, right. The, that's the original. It's like okay. a siren and a man screaming. Okay, right. Okay. This I get is it. the new one. It's for the Blu ray. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Oh, we missed a bit. It still goes. Oh, my it's goodness. Like, wow. Ah, at the end of it. Wow. Anyway, that's my new ringtone. He's the obviously. man of a thousand voices, that guy. Boy, is he. Just like our good friend, Matt Stewart. That's right. Well, he's the man of a thousand sounds. <laughs> that's who he is, yeah. yeah. Now, Mason, you had a bloody cracking week last week. because there, Because there was no Star Wars news. But I'm happy to report. Oh, no. It's, it's back again this week. Star Wars. There actually was Star Wars news, but because we recorded so early. There, we didn't get We didn't get the Star Wars, Star Wars news. news. Yeah. Felt like a vacation. It did, didn't it? For you, I was sad. 
Uh, they, so they announced the cast that's returning. It's a lot of familiar faces. You've mm-hmm. got your Adam Driver and your Daisy Ridleys and your John Boyegas mm-hmm. and whatever. And uh, Mark Hamill's coming back as well, which is... Which uh, means Luke ghost. Skywalker's coming back from the dead. Yay! Or it could be, they could be doing flashbacks because mm-hmm. people are like, why didn't Luke do a flip or whatever? So maybe they'll do a flip. He'll yeah, do a flip exactly. in the past. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> what, do you want to see him do a flip? Yes. <laughs> There'll Dude. be a flash. Kylo Ren will rem- remember his time in the in the Jedi in the yeah. Jedi Temple in the training grounds. Be like, now Kylo, watch me do a flip. <laughs> now you do a flip. Your flip wasn't as good, Kylo. <laughs> I swear, revenge. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Yeah. All right. Listen, I know last week was the end of Star Wars news. I oh. didn't want Star Wars news. Finally, this is great. No more Star Wars news. No, this no, no. Week. We're just reiterating. No, no, there's no, no more Star Wars no, news for a long you're not time. Like this. Thank, no problem, everybody. Oh, you're welcome, Mason. everybody. Oh, no. Oh, uh, what? Oh, uh, what? Yeah. So basically, there's Star Wars news this week. Oh, but you just said, <laughs> and then I promised all the listeners there wouldn't be any more. Now, Mason, I know that I said no more Star Wars news. Ugh. I've been saying that. I'm starting to think that when you say no more Star Wars news, it's just a flimsy pretense for you to provide more Star Wars news. But luckily, you've said no more <laughs> Star Wars news this week. And me, a man who is thoroughly sick of Star Wars news, feels a certain amount of relief that you're not going to give us any Star Wars news. Listen. Continue. <laughs> uh, the other... Oh, look. Sorry to do this to you. Um, I know you said there's... I know I said that there wasn't going to be any more Star Wars Oh, news. what a relief. What a relief because it's Comic-Con no, time. It's time no, for comic and no, you've movie, misread movie, the situation movie again. based news. I love talking about comic book movie no, news. No, the no. dog's loving it too. Dog's fired up about no... No, the dog's... I've got, I've got some backup. Oh, wait, boy, are you warning me about something? Is that why you're, is that why you're barking? Well, so you're She's a girl. She's a girl, Mason. <laughs> hey, girl, are you warning me about something? Because I, I thought there were no, there was no Star Wars news, but you're barking up a storm. What's going on? Okay, so this is good news for fans of this series, the Star Wars series. Oh, no! <laughs> there was Star Wars news trapped down the well. There was. That's why you were warning me, dog. Okay, let's just say that this is Star Trek news. Okay. okay. In, in more Star Trek news, mm-hmm. George Lucas has opened up about his episode 7, the version that he would have made. So George Lucas, yeah. creator of Star Wars, yeah. is also yeah. heavily invested in... Star Trek. Yeah, episode seven. Episode seven Even of Star there Trek. Is a Star Trek seven. Anyway, his version of Star Trek episode seven. Just to clarify, it's Star Wars, everybody. If there's confusion. Because his version of The Force Awakens. Man, I'm really looking forward to hearing this information about Star Trek episode seven. I hope James <laughs> gets to it in a moment, but he's speaking very quietly. I hope he moves up to a normal volume that I can hear and then I can hear about Star Trek episode seven. Carry on, James. Now, the good thing about being Star Trek news is we've dodged the Star Trek. There's no Star Wars news this oh, week. Thank the Lord. There is. I tricked you. Oh, is. come on. <laughs> I barely had time to do my, my, my weird spiel where I pretend like I'm so happy there's no Star Wars news. I know, And then sorry. I do a big song and dance you about the whole how thing. Yeah, there's yeah. no Star Wars news and I'm so happy about it. And then you spring it on me. You've still got this song and dance, don't you? I do, yeah. So. If anything, it's a fresher, newer song and dance that I'm enjoying even more. All right, what's next, Mason? Now, you know how every week we have Star Wars news without fail. Yeah, yeah but... <laughs> but... No, no, this is... I'm just saying, when now we've got it again. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, mate. I'm sick of Star Wars news. I'm sick, buddy. Sick of it. Well, you can't... I'm ropeable. Star Wars doesn't sleep. We know that, right? It should sleep. <laughs> should be put to sleep. <laughs> That's fine. I enjoy them when they come. Yeah, in, I guess. that's it. Now I know you didn't want two bits of Star, or you did want two bits of Star Wars news. No, didn't you? I wanted okay. zero bits of Star Wars news. Okay. Well, I got, I'm sick of it. I got one more I'm, bit of Star Wars. Bloody, I've got bloody Star Wars news up to me bloody back teeth. Mate. Okay, how about this? I'm swimming in bloody Star Wars. Next week we'll have news. no Star Wars news, no matter what's announced. Okay, great. There'll be no Star Wars news. Okay, they could release a Star Wars film secretly during the year, mm-hmm. like during the week. Sorry, and we yep. won't talk won't about, talk about it. it. There'll okay, be good. no Star right. Wars news. Your word is your bond. <laughs> I got one more bit of news. Yep. Uh, the actor who plays the the man, the tall man in the tall dog suit in a, a popular sci-fi film, he's coming back for reshoots. Huh. Uh, reshoots because apparently he shot a bunch of scenes for the new sci-fi film mm-hmm. when he was making the prequel sci-fi film set in the oh, same yes. series. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, but I uh, love this lack of detail. I love it. <laughs> Can you provide me with any more detail though? That's popular. You know what I mean? People like it. It's mm-hmm. the, We had one earlier this year that financially uh, did not do well, huh. probably even lost money. And then recently, like just before that, they had another one, which 
did well, but it was very divisive to fans. They sound really interesting. Yeah, they, can, they can be, yeah. yeah. They can be. Yeah, yeah. I mean, people people have soured on them a little bit. Can you provide me with more information, mm. bearing in mind, if I don't like the information, I'll get really angry. <laughs> Well, I don't want to risk that, yes, but okay. Yeah. Let's say, let's say, uh, there's, there's, imagine space. Yep. And imagine wizards. Ooh, I like that. Imagine those two things combining. Except the wizards don't have swords; they cut people in half with lasers. Wow, oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. That's they can do flips. Cool. Some of them can't. Can't do a flip. Yeah, some of them are puppets. Some of them are Alec Guinness. It's, 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 it's. it's there's a spectrum. You know what Sounds I mean? Sounds like there is. Like they they run the gamut, don't they? They do. I mean, I love the sound of this universe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It sounds like something you could be into mm-hmm. if yep. you weren't such a big bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And as you know, I'm working on a, a, a bigger project. Your at the magnum moment. opus. It, that it, it's it's just it's so Star Wars heavy. Yeah. It's the most Star Wars thing anybody's ever made. It's you That's screaming the titles of every Star Wars property. <laughs> Into a mirror. Here's all the books. Here we go. <laughs> End of the Empire. Dark Force Rising. The Last Command. <sighs> <laughs> that would be good, right? Good Could girl. you do that at the end? <laughs> I love that. I know I, that's not actually what it is. But they might be. Did you right. remember those? Exactly? Yeah, that's what they're that's called. That's really impressive. Mm. This is why I love Star Wars news, Mason. No, I don't it love brings Star out the Wars best news. in you. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> <laughs> so IG88. Oh man, what if it was just that? That is what it was. Just you. You 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 big it up for months about how it's your most it's your most expensive research project ever. It's just going to blow everybody else's Star Wars essays out of the water. And then it's just you in this room against a blank wall just screaming titles. And maybe it comes up with like Comic Sans under you and your title as you scream them out. I'd watch that. <laughs> that would be a long video. Yeah. I need a teleprompter because yeah. I wouldn't want to cut. I just no, want to. No, you do look it. down at your laptop. Okay, right. <laughs> so no effort. Yeah. And somebody would complain. Well, I mean, everybody would complain, obviously. <laughs> also, I filmed it in portrait. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's on. It's, it's you record it it's on your phone. iPhone, yeah. and occasionally you set the iPhone down on the desk so you can move your move your laptop or whatever, scroll down. And so sometimes it's just a f- picture of the roof. <laughs> okay. Anyway, mm. I just yeah. Anyway, I, I think I've. It's uh, in in summary, Mason. Is Star Wars? Is it? I'm exhausted right now. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, me too. But I've been awake a long time, so yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So less Star Wars or more? Oh, we're making a binding decision right now. Yes. Less Star Wars. All right. Wait. I'm saying more. Why not? Yeah. Okay. Great. Good. 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 This guy is so hard to read. I can't. <laughs> Is he enjoying it? Is he not? I mean, he's like nodding and he's like, hmm. You know what he you might. You know when people don't, don't, they don't laugh out loud, but they're still enjoying yeah, it, Yeah, it right? seems that way, yeah. yeah. Maybe I've got something to sweeten the deal. <laughs> what about, I get some Harry's razors. What oh, do you reckon? Well, Mason, it's the new year. You know that. Yeah. Better than anyone. Maybe Why? not anyone. <laughs> Better than some. Yeah. Better than like a baby. Who has no concept of time. Yeah, sure. that's what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Because Harry's Mason, they can save you about $100 a year if you're a regular shaver. Mm-hmm. So you want to be smarter than, with your personal finances in the new year, don't you? I mean, assuming the universe isn't destroyed, but all right. <laughs> yes. Let's think positive and assume it's going to survive. Let's do it. Yeah. He looks like he's loving it currently. I feel so that mm. way. Also t- to you. <laughs> Mason, Harry's is a great razor because it cuts really well. The, the fair on your face. It's a smooth It glide. shaves really well. It yeah, doesn't but it's, cut. It is cutting. It's cutting hair. That's true. Yeah, that's how shavers work, right? Mm-hmm. I should say shave, shouldn't I? It yeah. shaves really well. Yes. Smooth. The blades also last for a really long time. Longer than you'd think. Ages. Ages. A long yeah. time. He's dead. Not kidding. I've had mine for ages. Also got a special offer to, to start the new year off, right? Uh, you can actually claim that by going to harrys.com slash Weekly Planet. Say it a little louder so we can hear you. I'll say it at the end of the, the, okay, the ad cool, copy. Great. Okay, great, great. <laughs> but Harry's, though, as we, as we know, they were founded uh, by a couple of dudes who were tired of paying for raises that were overpriced and overdesigned. Uh, they knew that a great shave doesn't come from like gimmicks like vibrating heads, flex balls. <laughs> what is that? Or handles that look like spaceships. Uh, tactics that um, the leading brands used to raise, they've been using to raise prices for years. They actually bought a world-class blade factory in Germany that's been making quality blades for over 95,000 years. Wow. Just 95, sorry. 
I've Still got wow, though. Because it says kind of make it loose and kind of make it your own. Mm-hmm. I think I took it too far then, though. It's just yeah. 95 I mean, this years. is a high-pressure situation. <laughs> it certainly you, is. You know, yeah. so... Yeah, and the replacement cartridges for Harry's, they're just $2 each. Mm-hmm. Which is crap. That's cartridge as well. Which yeah, is right. get a few in there. Get a $13 value trial set that comes with everything you need for a close, comfortable shave. That's a weighted ergonomic handle. Great handles, by the way. I enjoy them a lot. Five blade razor with lubricating strip and mm-hmm. trimmer blade, rich lathering shave gel, travel blade cover. Mm-hmm. Uh, listeners of the show can redeem that by going to harrys.com slash weekly planet. Make sure you go to harrys.com slash weekly planet to redeem your offer and to let them know that I sent you to help support my show. Hey man, we, we sent you, all right? <laughs> just when you redeem the... Actually, he just looks mad now. He doesn't have any hair on his face. He's more a glowing ball of energy. <laughs> Than a man. Maybe so. he doesn't have hair on his face because he has a terrific Harry's razor. You think another podcast has got in ahead of us? It's very possible. Yeah. <laughs> Those sons of bitches. But don't miss out if you're listening to this podcast and you're a giant glowing orb of energy. Assume the world is going to continue to exist after this. He's gonna. He's loving it. I, I agree. get the sense. Yeah. Huh. Okay. I'm with this, this show that we're doing. We're not doing it. It's we've already done it. You get it. <laughs> you get it, Mason. I get it. The, uh, the recording stopped just then, <laughs> but we're back. Don't even worry about it, everybody. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Just... Some would say we lost some gold, but other people would say you've never had any gold. <laughs> yeah, so mm. just let's just keep doing this podcast. But if you never stop, oh, here we go. you'll never learn to begin again. That's good, Mason. Why do we fall so, so we, we pick ourselves up make again? Make pancakes. Spider-Man said that. Do you need a couple of eggs? Oh, no. <laughs> no. No. All right, Mason. We, we we promised people that we'd talk about the upcoming movies of 2018. That's true, we did. We are we're bound by Gypsy Curse to do this episode every year. <laughs> to talk about <laughs> movies that aren't out yet. Yeah. Just at, at length until we get to the end. And then when they do come out, we talk about them again. And yep. then at the end of the year, we recap the whole thing. Great. So this is the first step in That's this right. process. The triptych, if you will. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to get some more pain kills. I'll be back. Okay, no worries. You sure you're alright? Yeah, we don't have to continue. No, we'll continue. Where are your pain? What? Podcast. No, oh. Where are your painkillers? Uh, in my pocket. He just pulled out a bag of cocaine, everybody. <laughs> Can't do that one. It's my special one. Everyone. Do you want me to keep going while you're standing there? Uh, no. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Right. I mean, that should sound like this all the time. No, I mean, it's worse. It's much worse. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. But good, though. But good, though. Yeah. Are you sure you can do this? Yeah. We can cut it short. No. Actually, we could we do one more ad and then we cut it short. Right. <laughs> You're back. We're back. Okay. You said, "Do you want to quit? We'll do one more ad and then we'll get out of here." But then I said, "No, <laughs> I want to leave a legacy for future generations, a podcast, correct, where we talk about the upcoming movies of 2018 and then I die." <laughs> Just to be clear, I don't think you should do this. Uh Uh-huh, it's all right. (laughs) I'm taking more painkillers. I have an ice pack on me tum. Yep. Everything's fine. And a bucket just in case. And a bucket just in case. To pee blood into. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And you can keep that. Oh, no. You know, we'll auction auction it off for charity. (laughs) Okay, good. It's the worst thing we've ever said on this podcast. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I'd like to Somebody's... There's a charity auction Mm. and people are giving up, like, signed guitars. (laughs) And like like trips to movie sets that you can be an extra in a film. And I'm like, here's this bucket of pea blood. It's a pink bucket for my friend's house. It had a mop in it, but now it's got blood, blood and in it. In it. Yep. Uh, anyway, yeah. we're back. Yeah. Anyway, we should we might speed through this a bit. No. Just so you're not a uh... more digressions. That's what Fine. I say. Fine. October is Venom. Nice. Good. 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 We must be getting something for that very soon. Uh, any thoughts on Venom? Psh- Fired up. Kind of excited. Fired up. He's fired up, everybody. Yeah. Tom, Tom Holland's in it. Tom Hardy's in it. The whole... Go the, ahead, everybody. The Toms. The Toms. A couple of Toms. Was that you? Was that a like a race caller? I don't like know. a horse race caller? I don't know. What do you want? What do you know. want it to be? I don't know. Probably probably that. Yeah. <laughs> then it's not. Uh, next up, we've got... What else would you like to see Tom Holland and Tom Hardy in teaming up? Mm. I say a remake of that movie Legend, where they're twin brother criminals. <laughs> <laughs> Except one of them's Tom Hardy and one of them's Tom Holland. So one's real gruff and one's, hello, it's yeah. me, Tom Holland. Exactly. Are we gonna, how much crime are we doing today? Mother said we're going to do some crime. <laughs> uh, you're better at that than me. <laughs> You've got a nice pub here. Shame if something happened to it. And then he taps his little arm, taps his little arm on the bar. Nothing happens. <laughs> he can do a flip. He can probably do a flip. That's yeah. Right. What else we got? 
Mason, yes. uh, it's time to talk about Cloverfield Paradox. Hooray! The Cloverfield Paradox. Uh, I think it starts okay. Yes. I think, oh, this is an interesting setup. The world's gone to shit. It's 2028 20, or whatever uh-huh. it's supposed to be. Um, oh, well, okay, Mason, sorry, I forgot. Oh, yes. What do you think the story oh, was? Oh, no, it's too late, though. You've <laughs> mostly done it. Uh, the same thing. They've got to go into space. They, they have to turn on a, like a super collider in space. And if it works, yeah. they well, get Well, the superpowers of the Earth are turning against each other because there's lack of fossil fuels and yeah. whatnot. And everyone's on the verge of invading everyone else. But then they turn on the thing and wacky stuff happens. Well, they turn it on, then nothing happens. Yeah. And they're all like, good on you, Daniel Brule, you fuckwit. Get your fucking God <laughs> yeah. particle in check, you dumb prick. Yeah. Go back to Germany or Belgium <laughs> or wherever you're from. Get out of here, you Belgian bastard. <laughs> And they eventually get it working. Yep. And then weird stuff happens. The earth disappears. Weird, inexplicable stuff. <laughs> Bloody, what else happens? Man filled with worms. Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's go. Okay, this, I want to talk about this guy because it. Why does he cop it twice? See, what I thought happened with him yes. and what I thought would have been an interesting ish idea. Yes. Because there's a moment where he's. He's not near the worms. He's not near the worms. Well, the worms gave. From the worm farm. I'm assuming they're the worms from the other dimension. Yes. They got stuck in him and their worms jumped to the other dimension. Yeah, right. Like they're stuck in the wall. The only explanation <laughs> I can think of is that the parallel... He had like, so many worms in him. The parallel universe version of him got so bored one day that he's like, 100 bucks, I will eat anything on the station. But I bet you 100 bucks. And they're like, oh yeah, worm farm. And he's like... Done. Num, 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 and num. he's just stuffing them into yeah. his eyeballs. Yeah. And, into his and then he's like, what's next? And then they're like, you'll never eat the gyroscope that controls the collider. And he's like, we'll see about that. Num, 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 num. I mean, all of the worms went inside him. So it wasn't weird. even some of the worms weren't in him. Yeah. Every worm. Yep. Every worm was in him. Yeah. And his eyes went crooked. His eyes went crooked. I don't know. Was that the worms? Probably full of worms. Probably full of worms. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, Mason. Uh, yeah. So what do you have a theory about how, how this universe links together? But I like the idea that potentially at the end of Cloverfield, that monster has destroyed the whole world. Right, yeah. Like that it's just... And like the the video is being watched by one dude in a bunker <laughs> and he's the only person left in, on Earth. Yeah, right. And everybody else is dead like that. And then a big bird gets him. And a big bird gets him. <laughs> A big bird. Because he's filled with worms. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's like, mmm, breakfast. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Because every movie has a different alien or monster. Yeah, right, yeah. And this one's just a big bird. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a monster, it's just a big pigeon. <laughs> it's a bird. And it talks. It's a big sea cow. <laughs> with one leg. It's got with one, one leg. leg. Yeah. Anyway, it's the worst movie ever. It's yeah, for sure. easily the worst one. Uh, Black Panther. Yeah. So, uh, what do we got here? What do you think the story was, though? Ah, oh, come on, mate. No, I'm just saying. I'm asking. All right. I'm okay. curious. All right, hang on. Okay. So, we also got Andy Circus as Claw, and he's just great. He's so great. I know. Yeah. Look, I know he is. I, and he is a cackling lunatic. He's a lunatic, <laughs> and he is a murderous arms dealer who leaves death in his wake everywhere he goes. But he is so charming in and this. And very fun. He's, he's just, having a great time. He's just he's just a go with the flow kind of guy who's just rolling with it. Like you lose an arm, you get another arm. Yeah. You, you're being chased by the heroes. Just put some music on. Make <laughs> have a bit of a boogie. You get captured. Just have some banter with the whatever. Yeah. Like I I had this thought today. Yeah. And I know it's wrong, but I feel this is a safe space, and I'm going to share it with you. Okay. So the Marvel cast. In all the all the Marvel hero cast, they they're sort of quite well known for like their charitable doings, and you see them at like you know you see them go to schools and whatever. Yeah. There's a very memorable video which I think you've seen, which is uh, oh, the arm. The yeah, robot there's, arm, a, there's yeah. a kid and he's there's a little boy. He's he's in hospital. I think he's lost his arm in an accident. And I think he might have been born without. Okay, but anyway, but yeah. Robert Downey Jr. goes to the hospital in character as Tony Stark. And he brings like a Stark Industries flight flight case, mm. and he opens it up, and there's like a like a red and gold Iron Man themed prosthetic arm, and he gives it to the kid, and the kid the kid puts it on, and like he's trying to work the thing, and Robert Downey Jr. says, "Hey, listen, when I was inventing stuff, I failed a lot of times, but what I learned mm. is you just got to keep trying and like work hard, and that's and you got to promise me that." You're going to keep trying and you're never going to give up, kind of thing. And it's really kind of moving and it's yeah. kind of nice. Mm. And I had the thought, 
I hope there's a real surge of Andy Circus being brought in to do this, like a lot of requests. In character. In character. So he goes to the hospital and they apply his neck tattoos. As ta- arms dealer. Yeah, they apply cool. his neck tattoos and they spray him with like a sheen of like sweat and grime. <laughs> and he puts his arm like in his safari shirt so you can't see it. And he goes in and he's like, hello, little girl. It's me, your hero. Ulysses Claw and she's like yay it's Claw and then he bring, like like a couple of his boys come in with like a like a rusty like <laughs> like a like a rusty like container from a freighter yeah and it's they, just in, a, in an old oil drum yeah and they, just, and they just creak it open and it's like a weird rubbery monster hand it's just like hooray <laughs> how good would that be now little girl you must promise me if anyone ever says that you can't do anything you put your mind to, you kill them. You kill them immediately without remorse. How good would that be? Incredible. Right? It won't happen. No, for sure. It would be very offensive. Yeah. But he's very good in this he's movie, very good. I guess, is the point. Yes. I'm, I guess my only complaint is I could have seen a lot more of him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what else that was really good? that's a movie, good? you need an A villain and a B villain. That's true. So. Here we go, Mason. Got exciting things to talk about with Tomb Raider oh, 2018. Yeah. Let's talk about Tomb Raider. The Tomb Raider. Uh, do you want to do spoilers? Yeah, let's do spoilers. Okay, cool. Also, I M- wanted to do spoilers because you didn't ask me what the story was and now it's too late. Oh, no! It's too late. It's too late, James. <laughs> it's too late. You can't do it in spoilers. This is unprecedented. Isn't it though? Yeah. I well, got you, mate. Uh, yeah, no, this... Can't oh, believe I missed that. I know. People were yelling at me this entire time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. I normally write it in as well, yeah. so I don't forget that I did right. it this time. You're going to have to write it big and bold and underline <laughs> next time. Absolutely. I know you'd, uh, you would you could talk this all day, obviously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, we're going to talk about something else? Pacific Rim Uprising. Okay, let's the talk about it. The sequel to the 2013 Pacific Rim. There's not the buzz there was of the first one, no. obviously. Would you say there's a lot of pandering to China in this movie? Yes, yeah. I would. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I'll explain it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you're right. There's not as much buzz yeah. in this one. But do you think, though, because of that, we should neglect you telling us what the story was, Mason? Oh, <laughs> no. Bloody hell. All right. I'm back. Oh, he's done it. He's done it. I felt that was a lot of pressure on me. Then, I know, right? Because I thought I was going to... Yeah. Last week, failed. <laughs> Big time. Thought, I thought it was all over for you asking what the story was generally. <laughs> Never. All right, hang on. Here we go. Okay, so it's 10 years after the original Pacific Rim. Time jump. But it's only been five in real life. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Really make you think. Nah. No. Yeah. Anyway, but anyway, they've rebuilt basically everything yep. and everything's cool. Sydney looks great. Yeah, it did, didn't it? <laughs> and so did local newscaster. What's his face? Oh, Peter Roberton. Peter I wrote Peter that Roberton. down. There yeah. we go. That was a nice surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, they could have keep... got Lee Lin Chin. They could have, yeah. SBS's own Lee Lin Chin. Agreed. They could have got Peter Hitchener. They could have got Agro. <laughs> that sexually aggressive puppet. Yes. I don't know if he's a good fit. They could have got David Tench <laughs> of David Tench Tonight. <laughs> Famous animated interviewer. <laughs> That's the future though, isn't it? Yeah. So that would have made perfect sense. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to explain that? No. People <laughs> can Google David Tench Tonight. Just imagine the majesty of him being in the film Pacific Rim Uprising. Anyway, then um, what happens then? Then there's then there's the, trouble brewing. There's trouble. What a bloody thing to talk about now. Ready Player One <laughs> yeah. is a movie. I don't really remember it that Great. well. But it's Spielberg's biggest opening <laughs> since Munich. No, oh. since Indy 4. Oh. The BFG did not do well. The one about Tom Hanks and he's saving newspapers didn't do as well either because mm-hmm. that was just about newspapers. It wasn't about robots and exactly video nobody games. cares about newspapers. <laughs> Shut up, Tom Hanks, for once in your life. America's God. dad. Print is dead. Print is dead. But dressing up as an avatar of J. Jonah Jameson, that's in. <laughs> that's very Demanding much. Demanding pictures of Spider Man. Yeah. You know what I think's very in though? What's that? It's when you tell us what you think the story oh, is. Ah, he's done it again. All right, hang on. Okay. I'm so, a successful person. Yeah, that's very true. Is that your morning mantra? Correct. You get out of bed, two hands raised. I'm a successful, <laughs> successful person. person. <laughs> uh, okay, all right, here we go. So it's the future. Yep. It's 20, 2045. 2045. Yep. The world's rotten. It's real yep. bad. Will Wheaton's the president. It hasn't seems done so. anything to fix that. I saw a poster for him. He's definitely mentioned in it or referenced in it. So he is the president. Can Maybe you sh- fix America, Will get your Wheaton? Shit together, Will, Will Wheaton. Will Wheaton. This this world's a bloody it's a bloody bin fire, mate. What are you doing? People are living in caravans stacked on top of each other that you can only access by sliding up or down a pole. Where's some? Where's your bloody sustainable living options, President Will Wheaton? 
You're I've just decided I'm gonna I'm gonna rag on Will Wheaton this entire episode. No problem. Because this world's rotten. Why? You... Matt, how long's he been in for though? We don't Good know. Question, he if have... he's well into an eight year term, then he should have fixed some stuff. Fixed some shit. But I think in the book he's been re-elected. Ah, in a landslide. Will Wheaton. So he's had at least four years, hasn't he? Will Wheaton. Yeah. Why do people re-elect him? Why would you re-elect him if he hasn't done anything four years? If you're still living in slums, it's before. <laughs> why would What's his face? What's his name? Wade something? Wade Watts. Wait, why would Wade Watts vote again for Will Wheaton? Because he's 17 and he's still and he didn't, living in a shack. He didn't vote for him. Okay, then. <laughs> Good. Yeah. What I'm saying is, uh, you know why? Because Will Wheaton's gotten involved in some sort of shady fake news disinformation campaign. That's probably true. You grub, Will Wheaton. <laughs> you absolute grub. Anyway, America's ruined. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Rampage. Yeah. It's the movie that came into cinemas of the world over, smashing its way into to your, to your local cinema plex. Smashing. This, uh-huh. Yeah, so I guess they've, they've, they've done it, haven't they? How disappointed were you that... Just a lot. Like, I wasn't a fan. Of... I meant about a specific thing. <laughs> oh, okay. But I, I get it. We'll get to it later, actually. I guess. Yeah. Why is the crocodile bigger than the gorilla? Or the or the wolf. Here's, well, there's a lot of questions. Why is the I mean, croc- I guess it depends how big it was in the first place. Why is why was the crocodile bigger than the gorilla and the wolf? Why did the wolf get a whole bunch of cool additional weaponry? Yeah, like hands and, and wings. You got it got hands. It got wings. It got a oh, quill. It got quills that it could shoot out at people. Yeah, but, <laughs> and it, no, no, the other two didn't get anything, did it? No. I'm willing to look away. You know, maybe they would like different genetic packages. Like yeah, maybe they sure, were like, yeah. well, we gotta give. You know. It'd be fun if the wolf had hands and, a, and, a, and wings and spines. Wolf does not have hands, yeah, Mason. We've true. established that we've on the show. We've established it very much so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. And also, not only is it the gorilla that everybody saw smash up a city and fucking eat people, yeah. it's that same gorilla at the start of the movie The Rock didn't even trust to get people who were specialising in that field to be like 10 feet away from him. That's true. And then... Jeffrey Day Morgan's just standing there and it's The Rock... Just chuckling. Just chuckling away. And there's a fucking... 80 foot tall gorilla because just he's standing learned. there. He's learned his lesson. Has he, he's still a gorilla. It's that's, still a gorilla. I, I feel that's a classic monster. I movie want a t shirt that says it's still a gorilla still and a it's gorilla. me yelling and pointing up at a wow, gorilla. That's dangerous. Yeah. Gorilla's a dangerous man. I know. Wow. Bloody rip your genitals off. That's what he'd do. I've, I, Mason, I've travelled. Yeah, you know that no, about me. God. Uganda. I went, yeah. You go right up to them uh-huh. in the in the in the Ooh. jungle. It's they're terrifying. Yeah. Like they could they could snap and just pull your head off. Yeah. I saw uh, a trailer for One Legged Die Hard beforehand. And I thought Me that, too. I thought that was going to be the shit one. Have we, that looks way better. Have we reached peak The Rock where <laughs> before every movie starring The Rock, we're going to get a trailer for the next movie starring yeah, The Rock? Yeah, because it's got like two or three movies a year. Yeah. So potentially, yeah. Mm, delicious. Yeah. All right. Avengers, Avengers Infinity War has blasted its way into cinemas the world over. You can never stop the Marvel juggernaut. It's going, it's going east to west. It's, uh, it's up and down. Wherever you look, Mason, like it'll the sun. find you. Yeah. Wow. Is that where the sun goes? East to west, yeah. East to west. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. What does that mean? It rises in the east, sets in the west. My understanding is it goes up and then it goes straight back down again. Oh, there's a bit of that, yeah. Because it's, it's like a basketball. It's like a basketball. That's true, yeah. You're good. Yeah. 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 Good. All right. So... <laughs> <laughs> it's um the sun god Apollo yep. throws the sun yep. over the earth. Good, good. And then it comes back down and he catches it at the end. Very good. Sometimes you think he's not gonna nail it, but he nails it every is he, time. Is he always caught it? Yeah. What happens if he drops it? Does the sun break? Yeah, and then his mum's gonna yell at him. So because <laughs> his mum's not buying him another sun. No. I'll tell you what. It's expensive and big. Mm-hmm. The, what the amazing thing about this is though it brings together like ten years of storytelling and the visions of multiple directors and you're bringing back actors from like from ten years prior. And it just makes me go, what do you think the story was? Ah, he's not in me! I thought you were going to miss it. I thought you were going to skip it again. And not then... this time, Mason. Ah, all right, hang on. I all got right. my Avengers Infinity War lanyard. Ah, uh, mine's in the car. I forgot it. Ready to go. Very you know what nice. I don't like about this lanyard? It's not laminated. Okay, wow. So, you're so picky. Mason, if you're going to give me a laminated, make it a collector's item. Mm. Horse shit. Wow. The lanyard doesn't reflect the film, unfortunately. You can laminate it yourself. Yeah. Mm. If I had to pick a lanyard... Top one lanyard, Justice League. Of Number course. two, this, because it's also got a little a little A on it, a yeah. little foam A. Mm-hmm. Number three, Ready Player One. Yeah, for sure. Number four, the yeah. lanyards that people gave to us at oh, our at live show, show yeah. which was really good. You know what? That can be number one. That that's, a, number, that's a yeah. gift. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, and they were yes. laminated. And they were laminated. Yeah, good. Anyway, so... Oh, it's story else. All right, okay, so... Okay, a good place to start, I think, is Thanos' plan... 
yes. in the universe. I would love to talk about that. And the flaws that. with that okay. said plan. Yes. Go okay. for it. The problem with that is, is he has the Infinity Gauntlet, which can do anything. Yes. And he chooses to kill everybody, where what he could do is double the resources of Correct. the universe, or double the size of the universe, or change every person in the universe so they don't require any sustenance to live. What's that English meat drink? A bovril. He could get everyone a cup, cup of bovril every morning. Exactly. You could wake up to a hot a cup hot of bovril. bovril. That gives you all the all the fat and protein you need and a glass of hot water yeah. or milk, apparently. Yeah. Mason, we've got to talk about Deadpool too. Yes. Had a huge box, op- a box office opening. Yep. It is now the largest R-rated opening day for any film in the US of all time with 53 million beating out It. Hmm. But I suspect yes. It Chapter 2 might beat this again. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So... It remains to be seen, but it's still a really good... It's a, it's a massive opening. Yeah. And they... Rec- Sorry, go on. I was going to say, does this mean Josh Brolin is currently in the number one and number two movies? I guess or he is. Or at one point he, he, he would have been, yeah. He is. Infinity War and Deadpool That's too. still Yeah, well, this movie did... I wonder if that's a record well, also. Well, it did knock Infinity War off the number one spot. Oh, so he's in both. He's in both. That's wild. There you go. Anyway, Mason, yes. all these numbers and box office reports, they all pale in comparison to what you think the story was. Ah! Deadpool's back. Look at his balls. Mason, we have to talk about Solo, a Star Wars journey a story, adventure, yes. whatever it's called. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's, uh, it's interesting the way this is opening because it's quite, there's a lot of positivity behind it. Uh-huh. I think because maybe it returns to kind of a lot of the Star Wars stuff that people are familiar with. Correct. I just think it's weird that you're going to tell us what the story was. Ah! Do you want me to do it because it's your birthday? No, no, I'll do it. Here we go. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Han Solo's back, baby. He's back. He survived that lightsaber blade to the chest and he's got a new look and a new attitude. It shot him through time. And now he's decided he's going to become a smuggler. He's going to What was he it. before? Who knows? A diplomat or something. Yeah. But now he's going to he's going to get a new Wookiee co-pilot and About he's going time. to go on some adventures. He doesn't care if that Wookiee's got a different name. He's going to call him the same name as the other one. That's right. He's going to get a new love. Yeah. Princess Leia, she's a weird ghost torpedo <laughs> flying through space. He's not on board with that. Let's do it. No, nah, this is actually a Han Solo prequel. It is. This is set before episode four. By like eight years? Something like that, yeah. So, which makes him about 27. Nice. Good though age. he seems he might be a bit younger. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think, I think, it was, it, I think it's a good... Like this is, a, this is the baseline for, I think, a very good action movie. What? Yeah. You've right. lost it, mate. No, I think that's... I you're think riding high on birthday cake Maybe or something. Maybe I am, yeah. No, but look, you're not alone. Maybe you're riding low on you can't eat any carbs or sugar. <laughs> that's probably true. Is that still happening? Still happening. All right. Three weeks left. But, uh... Jesus. All right. Okay, so you must have hated the bit where Han Solo got literally given his name, right? Where he goes to sign up for the Imperial Academy and the yep. guy says, what's your name? And he goes... I'm just by myself. My name's Han. Even though he has a dad, because he says it later in the film, uh-huh. he's throwing the name away, whatever. And Maybe the guy, his dad doesn't have a name. He, he must. <laughs> but then the guy goes, oh, Han Solo. You're trying to escape the planet, first of all. Just say anything. Yeah, right. Just say Han Flugelbogen. It doesn't yeah, matter. Right. Say anything exactly. at all. Exactly. Take a name from real life. Yeah. that's Flugenbogen. <laughs> the guy who plays Chewbacca. That's right. Guess what? I didn't hate it. And I guess anybody can just sign up for the Imperial Academy. They just walk up and go, my name's John. What do you want to be? I don't know, a pilot. No worries. Uh, do you want to be John Flugenblagen? Yeah. All right, here's your, here's your <laughs> ID card. You can start flying next week. Here's the thing. They're not that great at administration. No shit. Yeah. But also, they'll take anybody. Yeah. So they, they just want as much cannon fodder as they can get. No, I understand that. But it just, like, any rebellion lunatic could get in there and yeah. just crash a TIE fighter into the Emperor. Uh-huh. It doesn't make any sense to me that they wouldn't even slightly check. Also, they knew a guy got loose in there. That's true. I mean, they grabbed some guy by mistake, though, didn't they? Or they whatever. did, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just thought that was absolute insanity uh-huh. that a guy with no last name showed up and they just let him fly spaceships. You could just say anything, apparently. I thought you would hate that. No, nope, don't mind Han it. Han Solo. Nah. I'll just call you Han Solo. Call him, call him Han alone. Call, so- Han, call him Han by himself. <laughs> call by him himself. Han, no friends. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. Han hasn't got a family. <laughs> so they could call him. What about Harvin got a family? Harvin got, got a family, yeah, for sure. A- yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I thought it was fine with it. Look, I'm swept up in the magic, all right? That was Just the bit me- you didn't even like in the movie. 
Which bit? The start. No, I didn't like the start start where the kids are like, oh, we're just, oh, I got an extra portion because of blah, blah, blah. I didn't mind that. I, I hated the, that. I so like the thing. weird, um, like, sunburnt worm or whatever. Yeah. Like, just a weird creature living in a pond that you just got to oh, work I didn't mind for. the sunburnt worm. I just didn't hate the little orphan kids. <laughs> There's barely any of that. No, no, but that's what okay, I'm saying. Okay, fair enough. Mason, I bloody love cliffhangers. Or I don't. Which is it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh-huh. One of the things that we do here at my show, the Weekly oh, Planet, on, is, is uh, we, we love the Gamers On Award. Yes, we, we do. We talk about it quite a lot. It's where basically a, a movie sets up the premise for a sequel that will never happen. Mm. Mason, have you found one yet? No, sorry. I got distracted. You're really killing it, Mason. Yeah. You, you mean in a good way, right? Like no, this guy's no, no. killing it. Randall says Dark Angel. How does that end? I watched a lot of Dark Angel. You what? You did watch a lot yeah. of Dark Angel, did you? Really? Yeah. Name one thing about that show. Jessica Alba clones with uh, they, their blood made them strong, and they also had tattoos of barcodes on them because that was the most two thousands thing you could get was a tattoo of a barcode. That's right. I had a friend who had a tattoo of a barcode on his arm. Probably the worst thing you could get. Do you think that if anyone actually scanned the barcode? Well, that's what he said at the time. He's like, do you reckon anyone would scan like what would come up? And I'm like, oh, who cares? You've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> you know what I want to get a tattoo of? Yes. I want, to get a hand, I want to get on my shoulder blade or my chest where my heart is. And it's a hand. It's an open hand like this. Yes. And across it, there's a scroll or uh-huh. like a ribbon. And yep. on that ribbon, it says one life. What nice. Do you, what do you think? That's pretty incredible. Now, that yeah. sounds like I made yep. up that tattoo. Yeah, yeah. But I have another friend who has that tattoo. My goodness. <laughs> All right. How much How much money would me, and by me I mean the <laughs> listeners, have to give you? You have to get a, you have to get a tattoo. It's, a, it's one of those ones with the heart yeah. and then the scroll across the heart. Yep. And then in the scroll it says podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's any amount of money that I would get that. Because I make enough money where... I'm right. not desperate for money, you That's know? That's very I true, I live yeah. an okay life. Uh-huh. It's neither good nor bad. Uh-huh. I think if I was in debt, I'd be like 50 grand. Yeah, wow, well, okay. But, uh, wow. But yeah. All right, well, look... <laughs> That one, that one was just a. Obviously, that's the joke one. Yes. But here's the one you'd actually love. Right. The same thing, except yeah. it says YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> that's so much worse. <laughs> oh dear. No, nothing ever. Mason, have you found one? Look, I've been talking, all right. <laughs> but you're looking at your phone. Yeah, I know. Are you looking at a different thing? Are you I had, shopping? Look, I had to text somebody because it was their birthday. I Jesus. just remembered that. So. It's kind of, it's a real situation. It is a situation. Thank you. All right, but now if anyone has any other ones, please uh, let us know. Mm -hmm. And we will acknowledge that through a like (laughs) on a Twitter, won't we, Mason? And I don't like anything on Twitter. Then we won't acknowledge it, (laughs) ever. It's just a, it's not even a, I just, I just never did it. And And now now it's an OCD thing and so I can't, I can't start doing it. But why don't you just do one? I'll have it I do one. One very special listener will get one like. Very good. Who's it going to be? Do you think it could be me? No. Okay. No. Well, that's yeah. I'm not gonna. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. that sucks yeah. for me. Obviously, <laughs> yeah, right. you could have at least said maybe, and then I could have lived in. Oh, hope. that's true. <laughs> no, but it's ba- rip the bandaid off. I say, you know, <sighs> you're a bad bloke. No, you are. All right, you know what time for? What's the time for? <laughs> now, I'm sorry for our uh, our listeners in the uh, in Europe. We're going to be talking about Ant Man and the Wasp. Uh, it's not out for another month because of the bloody soccer or football. Is that why? Yeah, apparently. Wild. Because, you know, that's what happens. When you open a, have a big sporting event and you've got an opening movie, they, they do not be friends. Really? Yeah. Do you, have they, they think that's one of the reasons behind Solo. One of the many reasons. Oh, okay, right, right. Yeah, I guess that's probably true, yeah. Mm. But I think this is the kind of a good antithesis to Infinity War. I agree. But also, it's not a rush out and see it movie. I'd imagine yeah, right. for a lot of people. Well, because there's no, it's not essential that you see this. It's no. Like, it's not essential to Marvel's overall continuity. Yeah. You could potentially skip it. There's definitely stuff that I think is going to affect Avengers 4. Uh huh. But we can talk about that after you tell us what the story was. Sorry, what you think the story was. <laughs> All right. All right. So. Look at my big grin. Yeah, oh, you, it's a big grin, isn't it? So smug, look at this guy. <laughs> so, uh, thinks he's better than everyone else. I do, but he's worse than everyone. Oh, else. God. Yeah, I'm afraid so. That's true. All right, so this is set after the events of Civil War, the American Civil War. The event. Thank you. Ah. 
<laughs> we find Gangnam it fun. style. I'm doing no. good jokes today. You're doing too many good jokes. Yeah, this is great. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think this was a good, fun, small scale, <laughs> pun intended, uh, story well told. Okay. I don't disagree. And I don't think it had to... I don't think the whole world had to be at stake in this one. No. Just enjoyed it. Just... He had, he had fun with it, everybody. Had fun with it, yeah. Like, just like Justice League. That's where he ran No, he ran disagree. It. Way better than Justice League. <laughs> it is You know than... why? Because there were scenes set on a street and it looked like a street. <laughs> That's my yardstick now. <laughs> it's weird that none of that movie looks like it's set anywhere. Isn't it weird? <laughs> Got some uh, reviews here from people who listen, Mason. This I'm from ready. Caleb. Saw Ant-Man and the Wasp. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was better than Black Panther and Infinity War. Uh, Danielle says, Ant-Man and the Wasp was so disappointing. Comedy was flat to the point of uncomfortable. Villains were whack. Worst movie ever. Action sequences were cool, though. Yep. And Drew says, man, Mason's a big old bitch. She sounds like a bloody sack of shit. I hope he falls into a volcano and then nobody remembers him. What a weird review. That is a weird review, isn't it? I mean... <laughs> he really says, yes. in addition to that, saw Ant-Man in the, in a volcano? I don't know. Yeah. What are the chances? I mean, how would I even, like... Why would I be... Like, I'd there's remember no, you. There's no active volcanoes near us. Yeah. I'd have to go to one. Yeah. I'd have to take my time out and go, why would I? <laughs> you wouldn't. Yeah. Why did he say all that? <laughs> no. Because if he... Did he say all that? Yeah. Huh. You'd have to Google it. But he right. said it. Huh. Uh, but he also says, saw Ant-Man and the Wasp last night and I loved it. Because if he didn't say it, <laughs> that would mean that you came up with all that horrible stuff to say about me. That doesn't sound like something I would do. I don't have that in me, Mason. Mm. I'm a man of compassion and mm. integrity. All right. I've got that tattoo that says podcasting in a halafa. That's below true. That it yeah. says passion and integrity. Yeah, no, you're right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's magic. You know. Never believe it's not so. Very good. Thank you. What's the occasion? Nah, nothing. Just that I'd sing again. <laughs> Great. It's just been... that I'd sing again. <laughs> it has been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're going to talk about Harry we're Potter. Doing Harry later. Potter. Do you do a good Alan Rickman? Ah, uh, was that your Alan Rickman? That was my Alan. That was Alan, Alan Rickman. Rickman. <laughs> Alan Rickman. <laughs> do you know what you get a good one? Um, hang on. Alan Rick. Alan Rickman. <laughs> Not really, no. Not no. bad. Thank you. I practice mine. Yep. <laughs> so that's mine. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> Mr. Cowboy. No, it's... <laughs> what? It's from Die Hard. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, right. Uh-huh. Oh, that really threw me. Yeah. <laughs> like, so there's a cowboy character in this movie? If only. Yeah. If, if these movies have taught me anything, it's... Har- nobody cuts Harry any slack. And they really should. Some people do. Yeah, they, but yeah, most he's people, rich. <laughs> well, he can't, I was going to say he's rich. But for the most part, it's like... I mean, his parents were murdered. Yeah, and they're all they're, and he's he's famous because his parents were murdered, and he's famously hasn't been in the wizard world. Yes. his whole life, but nobody ever cuts him any slack. No. In this one, he's like, "I'm leaving. I'm never coming back." And he sits on the, the on the on the on the, the street, street, and then the bus comes and picks him up, and he's like, "What's this?" And they're like, "It's the night bus, Harry, you moron! <laughs> How could you not know it's the night bus?" Because he's. He lives in the real world. He's never seen it before. Why are you so mean to him? You know. Yeah. You know. And also, there's that other. You know what? There's a, then there's that bit as well where they're like, uh, everybody gather around the boot. We're all gonna around the boot. And Harry's like, what's going on? And they're like, that's a teleport boot, you moron. <laughs> Harry, you idiot. Touch the boot. And he's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> Quick, let go of the boot. Remember that? Yeah. Then they're in the. Tell him in advance. <laughs> He could die. Yeah, he could die. Yeah. Yeah, and then just he just tumbles out of the air. I mean, yeah. a few of them do. Yeah. <laughs> so what what is also bizarre about this though? And we'll get back to the dragon when they okay. make him fight a dragon. Is that his name goes in the the the, the cup, and then there's some Michael Gambon like, hey, did you put your did you put your name in the quiz yes, tournament yeah, right. or whatever? It's really bizarre. Yeah. It's a it's a very out of character, even for this version of the character. Yeah, right, uh-huh. The way he rushes into the room and just, just, <laughs> yeah, just grabs Harry Potter, it. Yeah. Yeah. So there's that element. You're such it. a renegade, Harry Potter, except you never are. <laughs> you never have been. We've always assumed it about you. Hundred points! Yes. <laughs> I still think in ten years from now, they're gonna force awakens this shit. They're gonna bring everybody back. They're gonna make the cursed child into a trilogy or something, and it's gonna make Four billion dollars. Wow, that'd be yeah. cool. And if you don't like it, Mason. Yes. Do you like it? You okay with that? I'm going to say, hypothetically speaking, just to see what you're going to say. Mm. I don't like it. That's okay. Huh. 
You son of a bitch. <laughs> and that's the end of Harry Potter. Hooray! Who knows what he'll get up next time. To, I mean, next, everybody uh, who's watched time. all the other movies and read all the other books. Why are his clothes so crap if he's got so much money? Good question. <laughs> I Why was that, he so sad when they... I had that grey jacket with the white... Lied down the sleeve. Oh, the track jacket. He had, he had a dirty track jacket. Yeah, you better believe yeah, it. It's so it wasn't fun. my jacket that was two jackets. That looked, that was... No, it's a different jacket. I remember Claire all your that jacket. I remember out. all your jackets. I remember <laughs> okay, your good. dirty track jacket, all right? Good. All right, Mason, we're here to talk about the Meg. Yep. We didn't see it last week, but we saw it this week. Yep. Uh, it's crap. What did you think? Yeah, it's crap. <laughs> okay, good. All right, Mason, what's really exciting about this week is we get to talk about the Predator. Uh, ask me what I thought of it. What did you think of it, James? I thought it was pretty good. Did you? No, it was fucking terrible. It was <laughs> a really it. bad movie. I knew it. It was really bad. Yeah, it was like, bad. Like, it started off okay, yep. and then it was horrible. Yeah. It blew my mind how bad it was. <laughs> it really threw me. Yeah, right? What the fuck? What did you think? <laughs> now, what a big week for Marvel video games, Mason. I agree. Because Spider-Man on the PlayStation 4 was released. Marvel's Spider-Man. On the PlayStation 4. It was released. Yep. Uh, and look, I feel like because it's such a cinematic story, you should tell us what that cinematic story oh! was. <laughs> Wait, hang on. <coughs> oh, no. Oh, you finally killed me. I asked you what the story was. I'm going. Everything's going dark. I'm fine. All right, Mason, uh... What a week for a movie coming out. Yep. Agreed. It's, uh, it's Fantastic Beasts. Uh, mm-hmm. They're not in the case. They're just kind of shoehorned into the film too. Yep. That's what, that's what, uh, that's what we got. Uh, the opening weekend, not great. Oh, 63 million US opening compared to the last one, which got 74. Okay. Uh, we can talk about why that may be the case, but we have to also talk about what you think the story was. And I'm just wondering which one we want to do first. <laughs> oh, I see, which right. Which one do you want to do first? I think I'll get the story out of the <laughs> okay. way first because... What is the story of this film? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> I know I asked you, yeah, uh-huh. but I'm genuinely... All right, hang on. D- uh, okay, uh, Grindel- Grindelwald is, all- is out. I feel like... Or he gets out. He does- no, that's true. That's a- I, quite- I like that opening sequence. Why would you take him by rickety flying horse? Yeah. Can't you, can't you like jump anywhere instantly? Don't you have that ability? It's a bit vague, isn't it? Can't you just cut his throat and just leave him? <laughs> right. don't- what are you doing? He's Hitler. So just- I mean, I know you don't know his... But yeah. he's done a lot of crimes. You know what you could do? You could get a couple of judges from England and put them <laughs> in a rickety horse carriage and send them to America and they could go, hmm, all the evidence says you're the worst, let's kill you now. <laughs> and they could put him in that thing. Remember the thing in the last one where there's a there's a water or something? Oh, yeah, and you could go in the water, you die. That's right. They just, that's a room that anybody, they'll throw anybody into. Yeah, and you'll just, the you'll acid just room. Yeah. yeah. Just put him in that. Just put him in that. Yeah. They'll do that on a whim. Yeah. And then we'll do it for this guy? Weird, isn't anyway, it? that's what the story is. Yes, thank you. Correct. <laughs> Do you want to move your mic in a little closer? No. People say when I ask you to do this, there's no change, but I just want to point you out. Fix it in, you I fix, fix it, it in post. You fix it in post. I see. I get it. All right. So Could you put it. some reverb on it now? I so it sounds nah, like nah. it's too close. I can't. Too, too close. close. That's too close. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mason, Avengers Endgame is probably why people are listening to this. Probably. So Wait, not for my... Not for my game. Oh, well, now they are, puns. obviously. Now yeah. they've got two reasons to listen. Okay, good. Yeah. How much sadness are we going to get before they kick into gear? I have minimal sadness. Hmm? You don't Maybe. think you have to sit in it for a minute? I don't want to. Make Thor think about what he's done. Yeah, I guess that's true. Why should've... does nobody blame Thor? Well, I mean, that would have killed anybody. <laughs> yeah, but it didn't. It didn't. I guess that's true. <laughs> but, I mean, even a shot to the head may not have killed him, you know? I think it would have killed him. I reckon it would have lodged in his neck. But if you got him in the head, or go for the arm, or the balls. Oh I'm yeah, the arm my video. balls would have done it too. If you got hit in the balls, you, 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 you. you got hit in the balls with an axe. You're not. You're not, you're not doing anything. That, are you? Yeah. I just imagine like, a, just a full minute of him just gasping on the ground, <laughs> clutching in his groin. <laughs> Just because you know when you get hit in the balls, nothing makes sense anymore. <laughs> Doesn't time and space yeah. become irrelevant? They should just somebody out there do <laughs> a video, a, kick your best. friend and kick your friend in the balls, so, and see if they can snap their fingers. I bet they can't. That is the perfect explanation for being kicked in the balls. Yeah. Nothing makes sense yeah. anymore. <laughs> It really doesn't. Yeah, you forget who you are. He would have forgotten his whole his whole goal to eliminate half the population of the universe. He would have just like, oh, my balls. 
<laughs> That's all you know. Yeah. They could have they should have done that when yeah. they were on Titan. That, it yeah. should have been like this you grab his arm, you grab his arm, I'll kick him in the balls. <laughs> Peter Quill, you're mad at him, kick him in the balls. Could have kicked him in the balls. They didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't have any balls. He maybe might that's, not. Maybe that's why he's so mad. Maybe he changed himself with the glove so people couldn't kick, kick him, him in the, the balls. balls. That's maybe that's, that's what I would do. Maybe that's number one. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's task number one. That's smart. Yeah. That's really good stuff on his behalf. Mason, the, the biggest movie of the week by a long way was Aquaman. What did you think? I didn't feel at any point there was a moment where I just went... Why did why did they do that? Either in the case, either plot wise or or filming wise, production wise, you know. Whereas several of the others, one of those is going to crop up. I mean, they're going to go, Batman. Why did you do that, Batman? Or I'm going to go like, what's Zach? What's his name? Zach. Zach Snyder. Why did you do that? Yeah. But are you talk, you're talking like Batman killing or the yeah. mustache thing. Or like the Steppenwolf decision to make yeah, him a weird exactly. CG monster, or the, the, fact or the that, email attachment. Yeah, exactly. There's there was no elements of those. Or I don't think every villain is just fire and smoke at the end. Yeah, and, yeah. I mean, there was a little bit of fire and smoke. Yeah, there was. There but, definitely was. But at least at least this was wrapped up in a very colourful package. I yes. thought. Yes, I loved Nicole Kidman's weird survival fish outfit. <laughs> yep. Just like she's this actress who's like clawed her way up from BMX bandits. I was saying, like, yeah. Through Batman Forever, yeah. done all these, um, like the hours and amazing award winning television. And then she's just standing in a dead fish costume. Dead fish, she's got a crab arm. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. I was saying to you, I think I said to you after the movie's finished, I would have liked to have seen. Oh my God. Yeah. I love that. What were you thinking about? The weird fish stuff? Nicole Kidman's crab, crab arm. Yeah, most of the crab arm, yeah. yeah. She just throws that crab arm aside like it's nothing. <laughs> there were dinosaurs there. There were, yeah. That's true, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't have anything else to say. No, about that's all right, movie. yeah. How, do, how does this universe look to the, <laughs> to, the, to, the, to, the average, to the average person in this universe? How, how does the world look? It's the same universe where Superman knocked out a city. And then they're just in the center of the earth and Nicole Kidman's in a fish costume yeah. and there's fucking dinosaurs running around. That's very true. It's a magic trident. Yeah. Fucking, I don't know, man. Yeah, it's pretty weird, right? Uh, great. All stuff. All stuff, isn't it, Mason? It is all stuff. Okay, yeah. you know what it's time for? Is it, is it time for what we read? It? No, Mason. It's time for hate mail, but the hate has an hate in it. it. Hooray! Hooray! Okay, for everybody who doesn't know, hate mail, but the hate has an... Aiden, it is a not very regular but recurring segment on the show where I read eight bits of hate mail from the internet. To on, us. To us. Uh, it's never eight, but it's, it's always, always hate. hate. That's right. <laughs> so I, I collect them just over, over a few months and then I surprise everybody with yep. some. And once the pressure's <laughs> built to an appropriate level, we release that valve and psh, hate. Yeah. Okay. This is from uh, Jij Nyet. Right. This video is for no reason longer than five minutes. You suck and your mama too. YouTubers like you should get cancer in the... Sorry. YouTubers <laughs> like you should get the cancer in the size of a of an basketball in your ass. Wow. <laughs> That's cancer good stuff. basketball ass. Yeah. Wow. Wait, what is that video for? I don't know. All right. Uh, Matthew says... Could be for anything we've done. Could really. be, really. Mr. Sunday Movies, mate, shut up. Stop spoiling. Oh, this is for a Easter egg video. Well, for he's so- opened with mate, yeah. so he's a fan, he's obviously. He's a big fan. This, this is uh, for a solo Easter egg video. Yep. Mm-hmm. Which is after the movie comes out, and in it I say spoilers, and then I do the Easter eggs. Terrific. Stop spoiling films for boys who are too lazy to purchase tickets. You're an arsehole ruining the mystery and beauty of cinema. <laughs> Seriously, man, heighten your talents and get real concept of analysis and criticism. You're being judgmental, and that's disgraceful to be honest. Perception. That's incredible. <laughs> that's actually kind of. It's like a haiku. Yeah. <laughs> it had a lot of elements. I believe the weather was mentioned at one point. <laughs> oh, that's inc- that's great stuff. It's. Not, I mean, like, so don't stop disappointing all the boys. Or I, whatever not, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that what any of that is. <sighs> uh, Transformers six one nine says on the same video. Fuck you, you dick suck bitch. <laughs> I should probably preface this with a language warning. Oh, yeah, right. The content warning, guys. Yeah. Mason, now I, do you mind if I bring back a popular segment which we couldn't bring back last week because you had your stupid kidney stone, you dummy? You, uh, you okay. big dumb idiot. All right. Look, I agree with some of what you've just said, but not all of what you said. That's in the spirit of this segment. Oh, cool. Which is hate mail, but the hate okay. has an eight in it. Okay, you got people <laughs> who 
uh, Valentine something says, if you don't like Star Wars, stop pretending you're a fan of it. So it's people thinking that it's a serious video and it's just me really hating on Star Wars, which is... Didn't watch the video. Didn't watch the video, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is from Fenor Doc. Good. I hate nerds. Can they get any more until self-aware? Jesus, man, your opinions don't fucking matter, you geek. I don't see you making your own AAA movie, you pathetic loser. I'm not even sure. Here's a, here's a, here's a little <laughs> revelation there. If you're saying... If you're watching this video and you're calling somebody and you're mentioning AAA movies, you're a nerd. <laughs> you're a bigger nerd than most of the people who watch the video. Yeah. Which is fine. Yeah. Uh, just admit it. Just admit whatever you're... If you're into something too much, you're a nerd about it. Just admit it. That's right. If you don't mind me, I'm going to deviate slightly from hate mail, but the hate has an eight in it. Okay. With a subsection Ooh. that I'm going to call Straw Man Cuckshill Corner. And oh, these for sure, are yeah. comments. Straw Man Cuckshill Corner. Yeah, these are all like, they're, they're the new buzzwords. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> sure, yeah, uh, yeah. They're, they're uh-huh. popping up everywhere. Mm-hmm. People are using them a lot incorrectly. There's some uh, British Salmon. You're making star. You're making a straw man out, out of those who criticize SJWs. You need to realize that they are a real threat, not only to the creative process, but to everything you hold dearly, namely Western civilization. You don't hold Western civilization dearly at all. You know, here's the things you hold dearly. Grudges. Yeah. You hold those very dearly. Close to my heart. CrossFit. I don't do that anymore. The, I do a different The new one, thing. F45. Yeah, yeah, I do that, yeah. <laughs> and, um... I like the dog. Yeah, the dog's pretty good, isn't she? Mm. Yeah, good dog. Oh, my family, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah, all right, all right. But top three of the dog. Top three of the dog, yeah. It's from Dallas Wade. Let's create a straw man angry fanboy. And and if anyone criticizes The Last Jedi in any way, lump them in with all the straw man categories that only accurately portrays maybe a handful of actual people. Ignore all legitimate criticisms. Bad storytelling. What's that guy's name again? Uh, Dallas Wade. Hey, Dallas Wade. Triggered, mate. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Uh, this is from T. Fichi. Not a binary choice. Ruin versus good movie. You straw man in cuck shill. <laughs> got oh, that's, he's got them all. He's, he's done the bingo. If anyone's doing a bingo out there, he's nailed it. Uh, from oh, you a cuck. <laughs> also. Because people throw the word around. That's yeah. why. Uh, for Also beta. I, I, I should add that to Oh, we're, well. we're beta cucks. Straw man yeah. beta cuck shill corner. How about that? Yeah, nice. I love it. Nice. Okay. This is from uh, Inner Self. Ooh. Mr. Sunday beta cuck. Nice. Pretty good. Nice. Because they've taken the last bit. Yeah. They've changed it up. Yeah, it's like you review beta cucks, <laughs> like we're doing right now. Let's review this beta cuck. Uh, I Have the Tiger says, another trope that needs to end. Do you remember when I did that uh, the video where I was talking about seven movie tropes that need to die? But it was just you <laughs> complaining that everybody's more ripped than you? Yes, yeah, I remember. That's right. Yeah. Uh, another trope that needs to end is uh, YouTube beta male bitch boys complaining about having their nuts rip- ripped off. Just shut the fuck up. Uh, this is that's that's very angry. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot a lot in that. Uh, mm. This one is the need money bad. One word says it's not that hard to get in the shape if you're not a soy boy and you don't. Oh, deserve, that's a new one as well. One, yeah, okay, yeah. I like that. Yeah, I've heard that recently. That's good. <laughs> if you don't deserve and you don't deserve to play a badass superhero if you're not willing to get in shape. Nobody wants to watch a pudgy beta that has to use stuntman for every physical scene. I kind of do. Yeah, mate, it's fun. It'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so there you go, Mason. That's Strawman Cucks Your Corner for this week. I loved it. Don't worry, it'll be back. Oh, good. I'll just wait wait another day for them all to build up again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we could probably do one at the end of this episode. We'll just do another one. <laughs> Okay, now, Mason, I know that uh, that was the end of the segment, mm-hmm. but do you mind if I sneak in a cheeky hate mail with that hate? Oh, I'd love it. it. That's very exciting. Well, here's the thing. This is a very special edition of hate mail, but the hate has oh, an eight in it. Oh, why? Because it's all one person. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. Does he have eight points to make? Yes. Wow. Well, there's more than that in here. Okay. So I could go through it all, and I might, but, you know, we'll see how we go. Basically, I don't know if a few weeks back we did a video together, uh-huh. uh, which, is a, which Matt edited which was about the X-Men timeline and how it's broken. Oh, yes, sure. And how all these movies don't really connect and they're sort of in the same universe, but they may as well be set in different whatevers and they all contradict each other, <laughs> right? This person takes umbrage with that and many other points. Is this, a, this is a YouTube comment. Yes, this is from X-Men, this is from X-Men Magneto Acolytes. Okay, well, he's got an agenda for starters. This isn't some this isn't some Joe Lunchpail off the street who's just like, well, I'm, you know, I'm bloody all right. You guys were all over the place. It's sad how stupid you guys are, and X3 was the first Marvel movie to have a post credit scene, but it isn't canon. Uh, can you see they're doing Dark Phoenix again as a reboot? Not the same character, you dumb fucks. 
Because they erased well, all the fucking movies. Which so, ones? So X Men one, through except three. for First Class. Okay. Brilliantly using the comic book accurate story. Days of Future Past. When I do that, oh, it's, is that it's what capitals, it is? Yeah. As a goodbye to the old and hello to the new, where which are Apocalypse and Dark Phoenix. Deadpool is set in present day, but lives in his own space uh, with Time Traveler. These might be a bit, bit mixed mixed up as well. This might have been the first one. Uh-huh. Unsubscribed. It is not broken, and you are a dumpster fire. Deadpool is a present day, but he lives in his so, own wait, space. Wait, wait. So, so yeah, he's, he's really hammering that home. Does he think he lives with Deadpool? I don't know. It, it feels like... <laughs> I don't know what and this they, is. It feels like they're roommates or something. Deadpool? It feels like he's, they're roommates and he's like, Now, Deadpool, just remember, <laughs> well, there's a line down the middle of the fridge. You live I'm, in your own space. You live in your own space, mate. <laughs> There's nothing on the other side because Deadpool doesn't really live with him. This no. is not real. Deadpool lives in his own space and now has cable. Not hard only for Disney retards who are kids who wet the bed uh, and don't read comics. Oh, that's us. Next comment. X-Men has an answer and quit bringing up movies that are not canon anymore. Deadpool li- and lives in his own space so he can bring back anything to Deadpool kill. does live in his own space, you know? <laughs> Next Deadpool, one. Deadpool, I think it's time you get your own space, you, you know? I've come up with a theory. He... Calls himself Deadpool. Yeah. And he's got his own space. He's recently moved out. Moved out of he's recently been ejected or from, maybe from his family he, he used home. To, or he shared a room with his brother and now he doesn't. Now he has his oh his brother's <laughs> left. Oh no, that's good. His brother's moved out now. Deadpool yeah. has his own space. I get it. Oh, the, the last comment as I read first, Deadpool is set in the present day, but he does live in his own space. He does live in his own space. <laughs> it's very true. Wow, that's I just I just it's the effort of that. Like cause yeah. it just because I was because I, I kept going back and checking, and be like, oh, there's another one. Because <laughs> like, I found the one, I'm like, that's gold. But then I kept, it just kept unfolding. It was a gift that kept on giving. I like him a lot. I like his passion. Me too. Yeah, good on him. Get out there. Yeah. You know what's time for, Mason? Oh, what we read and what we're going to read? That's right. Mm-hmm. I'm doing the thing. What are we reading today? <laughs> and then there's a theme song. Yeah, I already put it in. Okay, nice. Good stuff, Mason. Mm-hmm. Do you want to quickly talk about uh, Black Mirror and kind of butcher it? And I can, yeah, let's like, do this it. It's probably yeah, yeah. worth a whole episode, but this is it. We're doing it. Oh, well, here's one, here's one you're bang up for, which is the episode two, Archangel. Yeah, I didn't love this one. With Rosemary DeWitt? No, I was, I think because it was so grim, I'm like, oh, that's unpleasant. <laughs> like, it's just very grim and upsetting and putting your, the fact that someone can see through your eyes and track your locations yeah. and all that kind of thing. Maybe that's what, this was yeah. very society as a phone. Very much so. What would you? What do you think about that? Putting a bloody chip in your head. I'm that against you can, it. Yeah, me too. I'm all, I'm all, as I get We're older, very close to putting chips in kids to track them. Right, you no, can I track your kids through your phone as well. That's true. Yeah. yeah, kids, if you're listening, your parents are tracking you. Oh, right every, now, your every yeah. movement. Throw your phone into a river. That's right. <laughs> Throw your phone into a river and get a log and jump on the log and go down the river. <laughs> <laughs> but then when the when the river forks off, make sure the phone goes in one direction, you go, go the other way. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Mm-hmm. I just sent. Yeah, I feel that's this one's kind of close Wait, to... Wait, are we judging this on whether no, we or judge, not society is we a never, <laughs> it, We never explain what it means. <laughs> it's, it's just a gut feeling of how much you think society is a phone in the episode. Okay. And I think in this one, society is close to very close to being a phone. Okay, it also... <laughs> the hell was that? It's a remote. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's fine. I'll probably just leave it there. <laughs> I guess I have to throw out that TV now. <laughs> exactly. What are you going to do? It's behind the couch. It's, it's too forever. far away now to switch it on and ah, off. Ah, it so. is, isn't it? Uh, what's next? Uh, hang on. What else happened in it? Mason, anything? we don't have time for this. Oh, no, we have so much time. No, because I have to go through oh, this. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> oh, also, mm. um, I also started, I rewatched some of the Defenders as well. Defenders of the Earth. Defenders. Out of the sky, his rockets ignite. Jets into battle, flying faster than light. Flash Gordon. Lord of the jungle, the hero who stalks The beasts call him brother, the ghost to war Fanzu, defenders of the earth Defenders Okay, I think that's everything for what we oh, were reading right. Nice Now let's do the segment of the show where Mason plays the lettuce theme Lettuce theme Here is our lettuce theme That's loading Again, I blame your Wi-Fi I blame your Wi-Fi What? Yeah, sorry The classic one was the lettuce, oh lettuce, we love you <laughs> Good work. Nice. Okay. I noticed you winced. I was doing keyboard cat. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes more sense. Makes a lot more sense. We now, should actually. start filming this. People can see all the great visual gags I'm doing. Well, I'm like this saying... one. Like this one. 
Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. That is good stuff. <laughs> that is 90% of James's recorded output is, is video. You miss much. a lot. It's so good. For people who don't know, I just did the OK symbol. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, for people who don't know, I mean, everybody other than Mason. Mm, <laughs> I saw it. Yeah, you saw and it. I wasn't even really paying attention. Dog, are you OK? You want to go out? All right, I'll let her out. Anyway, I'll let, I'll let the you let her out? Who let the dog out? No, Mason did. No, Mason yes, did. The dog, he's doing it is. now. I can say that joke that we do when before the show. Hey, Mason, close the door. <laughs> it's something that's become a thing. Whenever we want to close the door, we say yep. clothes. I don't know what it stems from. I don't think it's funny, but we say it every <laughs> we'll time. We'll never stop doing it. <laughs> Okay. If you want to reach the show, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod on Twitter mm-hmm. or Weekly Planet Pod at gmail.com to shoot the word email to the email inbox where Mason is looking at it right now. Oh, I'm not though, but I will. Oh, I bet I'll read out a tweet then okay, while you're doing ready. that. I've got a tweet here from uh, Andrej. A N D R E J. What's that? that Andre. Andre. It's probably Andre. Oh, very good. Yeah, Silent J. Okay. I love the idea of you two talking more uh, about a few more serious movies like Lewin Davis. Which we talked about. We last did talk week. about that last week. I think the humor between you guys is outstanding. I'd love to see you broaden the scope of the show a bit. Thanks for making my uh, daily way to work something to look forward to. What do you think of that? More I would love to. Stuff. Serious yeah. stuff. Okay. I, we I, can be serious. I had an interview Lee with Lee Silly. <laughs> 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 boing, Take boing, his shoes off. <laughs> Light him on fire. Uh, I had an interview with Edgar Wright a, a while back. How good was friends. It our interview? No, Edgar, with Edgar Wright. I was, there, I was there for that. But he was saying that he has something called, he considers vegetable movies, like movies you just should see because they're like Oscar contenders and they're serious and they're important. They say yeah, right. important uh-huh. things. So, I don't know, it maybe it probably won't happen anytime soon, but we, we could probably do a spin-off where we pick a serious movie and then yeah. talk about that. We could call it The Vegetable Boys. Yeah, we could, like a hundred greatest cinematic classics and we could... No, it's going to be called The Vegetable the Boys. Vegetable Boys, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. But, uh... I don't know. What do you think? More yeah. serious stuff? Yeah, okay, we can do that. Yeah. But again, it's going to be called The Vegetable Boys. It has to be called that now. Or The Veggie Boys? I think Is that already a thing? No, you're thinking of The Venga Boys. I am. And Veggie Tales. Veggie Tales, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Vegetable Boys. Yeah. All right. I was thinking of vegetable movies. Like, I was thinking that before the show. Uh-huh. But then would people just think it's movies about vegetables? Yeah. Like Veggie Tales? Yeah. yeah. And this, there's a slightly smaller but still very real chance that they will think it's a podcast by two boys who are also vegetables. Oh. But if we explain it in the intro, I think they will probably get that we are regular boys. I'm a broccoli. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll explain that one of us is a regular boy <laughs> and you're a broccoli man. <laughs> I think that's the show. Yeah, there we go. We did it. Yeah. Yeah. I think broccoli's better raw. Yeah, I said it. What? Yep. <laughs> That's insanity. You're an idiot. You know what the other thing about broccoli? Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> do, you, do you just get a... Do you have a thing of frozen broccoli and you just eat chunks of it? I don't get frozen. I get fresh broccoli, no, Mason. Still, I'm not a monster. Mm, you're eating it raw, so you are a monster. And I am made of broccoli, so yeah. I guess I am a monster. You're a, you're, a, you're a monster and a cannibal. So... No, I think it tastes better. Wow. I think broccoli loses a bit of its kind of pizzazz when you, when you, when you boil it. Wow. Uh, maybe just a little bit of a boil. But the other thing is... Broccoli, and I always complain to Claire about this. It's got a pocket of hot in it, yes. in this, in the leaves. Yes. But you think it's you think it's not as hot as it is. Yes, but it's just like holding a, like a fistful of heat in there, just waiting, wow. waiting till you bite into it. Madness. It's better raw. I get it. God, it's a superfood. Yes. Is it? I don't know. Everything's a superfood, apparently. Well, here's one that I saw. Uh, this is from Kyle Cox, mm-hmm. weeklyplanetpod at gmail dot com. Uh, greetings from the USA. Hello. How would you feel about the MCU creating entirely new superheroes? Uh, it's kind of... Does it seem like a bit of a roll of the dice to create a new comic book character at this point? In yes. The, in an established uh, universe? Because there's so much you can draw from. Yeah, isn't it though? Yeah. And instead of just being like, look, it's 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 Dog Boy or whatever. I don't know. It's, why did I go there? <laughs> That's not a good one, obviously. Because you're looking at a dog and a boy. <laughs> That's true. That's yeah. why. You saw the dog and the boy and you went, dog boy? <laughs> But I think um, you're lucky. Uh, we're all lucky you didn't go microphone dog. <laughs> what about microphone dog? He's got he's got great hearing. You could listen in on the bad guys because he's microphone dog. <laughs> it's just a microphone with dog's legs, yeah. right? Is that he what says, I think it'd be cool for the MCU to create a hero from scratch because it would mean that the audience would have no idea where the story was going. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, a idea because it's, you know... I wouldn't even know where to start because a lot of people have said, what's your ideal comic book character that you would create? Yeah, right. Everything's being done. Yeah, and there's true. only slight variations. Yeah. I mean, every now and then you'll get something completely outside the box. Yeah. But a lot of the time, it's I like, mean, is 
he can fly and he shoots lasers, but exactly, he's, he yeah. can also meld his mind with technology or whatever. Like, yeah, right. Mm. And sure, you know, maybe there's a crypto, the super dog, yeah. who's got heat vision and and you know he can fly and he's super strong and he's invincible and super hearing super hearing yeah but but that's too much isn't it what if yeah. you what if you strip what that you away write down? back to basics just a dog just a dog <laughs> that's super with super hearing <laughs> but how would the dog have super hearing he's not an alien no we'd have to think about it obviously we'd have to have some sort of a, look, it doesn't matter. A we'll big think. ear. A big ear. <laughs> yeah. A dog with a big human ear on its back. Exactly, right. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. That's very interesting to me. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Kyle. Kyle. Mm-hmm. I got one more tweet here from Grayson who says, Hey guys, I was wondering if I can get a shout out for my new baby daughter, our first, and my wife who did all the hard work to bring her to us. James. Mate, you did some of the work. Don't tell yourself That's short. true. I did do some of the work. Not you. Oh, didn't I? No. Uh, James, best job in the world. Am I right? And hashtag as a dad Mason. So yeah, congratulations. Is it the best job in the world? Best job in the world is probably uh, King of Ice Cream. Tester. No, because you could die. Yeah. Mm. The king of ice cream. The king of ice cream, yes. What does that entail? Do you just you just declare things? Yeah, then you get ice cream. But do you, I think you I think you wouldn't appreciate it. No, I think you would. I think you as the you, you're wise because you're the king. You don't just give you the role. Yeah. You're wise because you, you. No, you inherit it. You're a king. No, you, this is this is based on merit. This is a so job. You're the, so you're the president of ice cream. No, man, you're the really? king of ice cream. The title's the king you of ice cream. You can't get elected into a monarchy. You're not being elected. You're being promoted. <laughs> you're getting the job. You interview for the job, and then you become the king of ice cream. You don't interview to be the king. No, all right. Do. It doesn't work like that. Anyway, you get free means ice- your father you was get- the king of ice what cream. What I'm saying is, and you grew up as the prince of ice cream, a little a little roly poly ice cream boy who's never experienced anything in his life. Maybe in Just your l- in your monarchy, but this is this is America, all right. <laughs> and in America, you interview for the job and you get the job, and you're wise. That's why they gave you the job, and you get as much free ice cream as you want, but you don't eat too much. Because you're wise. You're just talking about a guy who works in an ice cream factory. No, he's, he's not king. a king. No, he's the king. He's just a guy who interviews for a job and then eats some ice cream. That's working in an ice cream factory. You fucking idiot. Well, he's, the, he's the kick in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Why, how do we get on to this? Our oh, best, best job the in the world. Job. All right. Do you think King of Ice Cream is the best job in the world? Tweet at me, at Wikipedia Brown. Yes or no? And me. No context. Yeah, both of us. No context. Yes or no? Uh, you got a letter or do you want me to do a tweet? Uh, this is from uh, this is from Ari Perez. Okay. Uh, it's his birthday on Monday, June 11, when the show comes out. It's his, it's him, it's his birthday and his twin brother's birthday. It's so. your birthdays. Okay. you got to sing the twin birthday song. Okay. It's a different birthday song. You know it? No. Oh, it's like this. It's your birthdays, two of you same day. <laughs> it's your birthday. Never forget where you're from, a woman and a man. <laughs> wow, you are delirious. I really am. Well, that's well, that's some bonza content, if you ask me. So that's totally worth it. Also, I feel uh, like in this day and age, that song is outdated. You might not be from a woman and a man. It's a different era. I think they should update the song. The song you just invented. <laughs> no, it's a real mere song. seconds ago. It's a real song. It's not a real song. <laughs> Anyway, on a somewhat unrelated note, I'm a computer programmer and was thinking about creating a Weekly Planet Chrome extension to change all images to Meso's face. I think that would be pretty fantastic. 100%. For Weekly Planet listeners who don't get enough Meso in their regular day-to-day lives, how do you guys feel about that idea? I think it's great. Do it. Mm-hmm. Can it yeah. work? It could certainly work. I wouldn't even know where to start If somebody could, If you could build that and then send us some screenshots, I would appreciate that. Okay. Yeah. Should we cap this off with the birthdays song again? Yes. Do you want to do it? Um... <laughs> No, I can't remember how it goes. I'll sing along with you if you start it. It's fine. Okay. We'll go back to it another week. Mm-hmm. Happy birthdays, though. Anything else, or should we no, wrap it up? That's that's it, I think. Hang on, let me, let me... Give me one second. I'll give you two seconds, okay, Mason. Cool. That's how generous I am. Yeah. People say I'm the most generous man in podcasting. Who's ever said that? Everybody. I tend to agree, too. Oh, no. oh I have one more thing. All right. <clears throat> Nymeria... Sandwich. Is that what you were doing this whole time when you yes. said one more thing? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I was looking through notes. I probably edited it out, but that was a long pause, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Went for hours. <laughs> Great. Obara Sandwich. You can't just say sandwich. No, you can. There's a page of sandwiches. There's a page of Game of Thrones sandwiches. They're all slightly different. The only, the only uniting factor is they all have blood in them. <laughs> Tyrion ty- 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 Sandwich. Gotcha. Yep. The whole show, I think. Yeah, it's good. It is good. Uh, instead of doing that, do yes. you want to wrap us up? I'll wrap up the show. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Thanks for sitting through me 
badly naming Game of Thrones related food items. I think initially it was okay, Mason. And then it got great. And then it just, you were just doing sandwiches. Great. Okay, yeah. Great. You're absolutely correct. You're absolutely um, something. That's the show, though, Mason. Take us home. All right. If you want to. Country uh, road to, to the, the place. How the long? West, West Virginia. Virginia. Mountain Mama, is that what that is? Okay. take me yeah. home. Country, Country roads, yeah. Podcast. Kingsman too. Uh, not a good movie. And also a bunch of other movies last Correct. year. Uh, Alien, oh, yeah. Alien, and also the, is it in Guardians the heist too? one? No, the heist one with um, Kylo Ren and James Bond. Oh, Logan Lucky. Yeah, it's well, in that Logan as well. Lucky, yeah. yeah. Sorry, keep going. Uh, all right, if you want to contact the show, you where go... I belong to the place. <laughs> I'm not anyway. Wrap this show up, you son of a bitch. Rude, but all right. <laughs> Just get settled. Okay. Here we go. I was right. going to sleep. Oh, no. <laughs> That's right. I'm putting my little robe on. I'm a little hat. I'm blowing out, I'm blowing out that candle. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Uh, let's see. Uh, thanks, everybody, for bloody listening. That's yeah. uh, five years. Thanks to everybody who's been listening for five years. No thanks to everybody who listened starting this week. Yeah, fuck off. Just kidding. <laughs> we love you just as much. That's no. right. No, see, that's a slap. No. The, see, that's a slap in the face to people who've been listening. That's for what five I'm saying. Years. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. We don't love you as much. <laughs> maybe we'll grow to love you as much. Pete, you know who we don't love? People who stop listening. Yeah. At any point ever, <laughs> if you've ever stopped listening, even for a moment. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Anyway, thanks for listening, subscribing, telling your friends. We bloody love that. That helps out a lot. Uh, let's see. Uh, Weekly Planet Pod at Facebook and Gmail and Twitter and Bandcamp. Yeah. Um, I'm at Wikipedia Brown on Twitter. I'm at Mr. Sunday Movies. I want to be a tastemaker, a, a social taste media influencer? influencer. Yeah, yeah, great. Okay. So, do you have any opinions yet? Um, I got stuff about broccoli to say. You could get in with the broccoli industry. They're big on, they're big on Instagram. So, are they? Yeah, I'm gonna look that up. Okay, keep going. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, thank you to at the Weekly Planet on a Twitter. That's mm-hmm. our friend Raw Collings doing all sorts of stuff. Okay, this is bullshit. Here we go. Broccoli underscore mag. Is taken on Instagram. Yes, it's an international magazine for cannabis lovers. Come oh, on, broccoli. I get it. I get no, it. No, that's yeah, not yeah. fair. Oh, that's what you were talking about. You love your raw broccoli. No, I get it. you love that raw broccoli. I'm not a big. Yeah. Uh... What's your favorite strain of raw broccoli, my friend? I just like the green yeah, one. my dude. Come on, mate. Yeah. Ah, uh, let's see. What else do we have? Ah, uh, let's see. Thank you to the brute and basilisk and Rackham for all our musical themes. We appreciate uh, them. We do appreciate them every mm. single week. Yeah. Ah, uh, and let's see. We've got some t-shirts on T Public. Just look, look for the Weekly Planet. Yep, yep, Get yep. Yourself an I'm Fine t-shirt. That's my favorite currently. That's your favorite t-shirt, isn't it? Oh, it's so good. Is it the fire content? It's fire content. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. What Did else? you see the uh the, the picture that was posted that recently? The new mum. Yeah, no, we, I talked about that last, talked about week, last week. week. Oh, we did, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I yeah. love that. Yeah. But I'd love even newer content. So if anybody's got one out there, oh, let us know. Yeah, let us know that you've bought merch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't you, have you seen the YouTube channels? They just spruik merch. A, no. lot of, a lot of YouTube channels are just like, what up, dogs? Listen, it's your boy, Dickface. <laughs> what, wow. what don't you get? Buy my merch.com or whatever. Are you saying you wouldn't buy a t-shirt that says, it's your boy, Dickface on it? So I absolutely would. <laughs> okay, it's the same. It's the same T-shirt. The, the, the picture of you, the I'm fine T-shirt, except on the top it says "It's your boy," and then underneath it says "Dick face exclamation mark." It's exactly the same photo. You're just looking miserable, and it says, It's your boy, Dick Face. I would buy that. Sure, I probably yeah. would. Uh huh. Yeah. Do we promote anything else? Oh, if you'd like to support the show, you can go to patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies. Yeah. If you'd like to chuck in a buck, that would be excellent. Any Anything you could spare to keep the lights on. We love it. Uh, you can also go to the Amazon affiliate link or in our episode description. Click through, buy your Amazon shop. <laughs> but seriously, Mason. Yes. Oh no, what's happening? He's turning his chair around. Oh no, he's oh no, he's gonna be delivering some life lessons like a cool teacher. He's he's straddling his chair backwards. But seriously, Mason. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's been a bloody it is a it, You it's... know what my favourite part of that would have been if I didn't mention it at all. Because <laughs> I know you're relying on me to be like, he's turning around, but fear of the mind, he's turning yeah, If I just <laughs> stared at his stony faced and then have been like, continue? <laughs> Uh, this is uh, 
this is my job full time. Is it right? Yeah. Uh, and I know I probably say this too much, but I, I do appreciate it because uh, I get to spend time with my family and live at home and work from home. And uh, it's a thing that I really enjoy doing mm. uh, every day, which I complain because I'm like, oh, I have to break down a trailer. Blah. Mm-hmm. But it's either that or I have to go shovel manure. That's very true. You're only two skills. Yes. I mean, you are so good at it. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm one of the best. And look, I would just like to say yeah. thanks everybody for listening because this allows me to also spend time with my family. What? That's right. I'm your long lost brother. <laughs> Cliffhanger at the end of the episode. We'll see you next year, you dogs. <laughs> No, it's probably not true. <laughs> it's probably not true, yeah? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> and that's a good lesson to go out on. And that's the, the tooth. tooth. It's not the end, though, because i got to quickly apologize to Rich, even though I didn't do this. Yes. And I'm just going to put this out there in general. Uh-huh. I, I caught an email. I don't normally delve into the bloody Gmail, Mason. But uh-huh. I did just before bed last night. Oh, this night. is fun, yeah. And I got an email from Rich who... Who messaged, private messaged uh, the Twitter, uh, the Instagram account, Mr. Sunday Movies, asking a Justice League related question. And the person who runs that account, who's not me, replied, I'm married, bitch. <laughs> so he's nailed your, your voice, basically. Yeah. So, so that's it, fun, isn't it? And this person is also married. That's good. Mm-hmm. So I, I've. No, I don't think he is married. I think the character. Like, he knows your character is married, oh. your persona, so he's acting as you. Is that what that is? That's how you would react to that. I would say that, If anyone I? asks you a question on Instagram, you tell them, hey, I'm married, bitch. I'm married, bitch. That's it. Mm-hmm. Uh, time to end the show, though, Mason. Okie dokie. Uh, Check out our bloody socials. Uh, planetbroadcasting.com. Everything's there That's that you right. never need. Yeah. Yes. Is that the show? That's the show, I think, yeah. Cool. All right. All right. Grab that gem, everybody. I'm married, bitch. <laughs> That's your official new catchphrase. <laughs> Somebody make a t-shirt. It's a good catchphrase. It is. I like it a lot. And people, people who are married can wear it. People, couples can get matching t-shirts. That's right, yeah. If you're not married, you can wear it ironically. That's a great it's idea. Oh, good. What an amazing source of revenue for all of us. <laughs> okay, he's taken, he's taken the earbud out. I'm, I'm glad good I had Good thing that. we bought those giant yeah, right? <laughs> Galactron-sized earbuds. Well, our ear... Sizes are not dissimilar. Oh, really? He's got pretty big ears. Okay. Big, <laughs> gotcha. big ears. Thank you for never bringing it up, but they're pretty. Are they? They're pretty, pretty big. You got regular size ears. I have to add the extra, the large size ear, but. Okay. I have small ears. Nothing fits my ears. Silence! Oh, God. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> I have listened to your so called podcast, and I find it. Wanting. Yeah, that's fair enough. I mean, some of those references are pretty obscure, aren't they? Well, it's, it's... If you keep bringing up the 1980s variety show Hey Hey It's Saturday, <laughs> it's no wonder you can't retain any new listeners. Oh, come on, mate. Bit rough. Bit bloody rough. <laughs> But you're not getting the context of the show. You're only getting the clips. You know what Your I mean? Your world oh. will be chomped. Oh, God James, damn. James, he's, he's bringing up his hands in that weird cosmic way they do where they're going to blow up the whole world. What are we going to... Oh, wait. I have one more thing in this bag. Galactron, bloody cop this, mate. Mmm. Light flaky pastry. Real fruit filling. Delicious. I enjoy this. Hostess fruit pie. Are they any good? I've never had one. I've also never had one. Oh, this was... has been in my bag since the late 60s. <laughs> Honest to God, I didn't... He's, 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 James, he's, he's eating it. He's loving it. He's leaving Earth. I leave this planet now, puny humans. But I will return in 100 years for more of these fruit pies. Well, not our problem. No, not our problem well, at all. Well, I hope not anyway. Nah, we'll I be, plan to be dead. We'll be dead long before then. Thank God. <sighs> Maybe our children will be doing this show. Oh, I wouldn't wish that on. I wouldn't wish that on anybody, to be honest. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the best of Weekly Planet, both Galactron and there he yep. goes, and bloody mm. and everybody listening to this. We'll be back soon, won't we? On the twentieth, twenty third. Hang on, let me check Something the dates. with the 20th. Yeah, on the 21st. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so we'll be back we've back got big things coming up. There's big things big coming new up. movies coming out. We're going to be talking about the movies we're most anticipating. We've also got a Justice League movie commentary which you can check out. We'll talk more about that yes. next week. So we're just we'll about to record it. I'm really excited for me that, too. Mason. It's going to be so great. Anyway, thank, thank you, everybody. Have a good time. Have a great time. Have a great time. Yeah. See you Grab next- that gem, oh. everyone. He took to, he remembered something. Didn't I'll he? be back in 100 years to kill you all. <laughs> this podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean, if you want.
it's, it's up to you. 